何から話すべきか
Welcome, welcome, people of the internet. I'm so off center. There we go. We're finally back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I was gonna do a, a little bit of progress between streams, just some of the more grindy stuff. And I couldn't. I'm literally stuck here. <laughs> because when I entered the Junon region, I guess it's pushing you forward in the story. So I literally can't fast travel back to the grasslands. It just, it won't let me. I, I can only go from this little piece over here, so. We, we're, we're picking up right where we left off. <clears throat> CW, what South Park game are you playing? Look, game, South Park game looks and sounds terrible. There's a new one? I didn't even know there was a new South Park game coming out. I don't think. Oh, you guys couldn't hear the trailer? Oh, you know what? I might have had it muted. That was my fault. Or whatever. You guys are seeing the real game here. You in Chapter 4, I'm in Chapter 10, so I'm ahead of you. Well, yeah, that, that, that's what happens when you're playing a game when someone else isn't. You, you move forward in, in time. That's how time works. Um, but yeah, so we'll make a little bit of progress today. Um, as a reminder, th this weekend, I'm not going to be here, so no stream on Friday this week. Instead, on Wednesday, we're going we're gonna to finish Vice City Stories. We'll just knock it out. Finally. And I hope I don't have any issues with the dock. Oh, God. It's some kind of multiplayer platformer or something? I'll have to look that. I had no idea there was another one coming out. And I think I got the AI voices working again today, by the way. I tested them out, and they seem to be all right. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll, we'll move forward here. The Junon region. I was actually... Uh, it told me to wrangle a chocobo, but I've been running around, and I, I haven't really found one here. I don't know. I, maybe I can't yet. Are you going on vacation? We are actually, um, since my kids are home for spring break, uh, uh, out of school right now, we're uh, going to take, um, we're going to go to Legoland on Friday, and we're staying there. Uh, and we're going to Legoland Friday, and then the Legoland Water Park on Saturday. So, I've never been. It should be interesting. Surprisingly uh, inexpensive to go. I, I mean, I'm comparing it to, like, How's the game audio? Is it too loud or are we, are we good? Do I need to lower it? But it's, uh, compared to, like, Disney prices, <laughs> it's insanely cheap. I mean, it's Legoland, obviously, so it's not gonna be anywhere near Disney quality. Alright, let's just go. Let's go to the next one. South Park Snow Day by THQ. Oh, I remember hearing the time. I did a platformer? You said it looks bad with the platformer. I'd imagine it'd be kind of cool. Sounds great. Cool. All right, let's go forward into Junon. I hope by the end of this stream, I'll be uh, able to just actually travel around wherever the hell I want to go. See, it's not only Chocobo and it's over here. Wrangle Chocobo. Let's retry it. I think I messed up earlier when I was trying to do it. Oh, yeah, see, I had to restart it. That's why. Metal Gear Chocobo over here. IGN gave them a four? Oh, damn. IGN's hit or miss. Like, I don't know. Like, like I've seen a lot of sites giving the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire movie bad reviews, and I just saw it yesterday? Day before? Day before yesterday. Absolutely loved it. I, I felt like I was watching a uh, the real Ghostbusters cartoon show. Hope I don't fail here. I need that choke bow. Oh! Ooh. Is that the joke? Who spotted me? What? I have no idea what Chocobo spotted me. What is it with the yellow paint meme? I don't know. A lot of people complain about the yellow paint in games, but it's just... It's a game design thing. It just tells you, like, where to where to step and stuff. Hybrid moments. Flexing those 28 months of membership. Zelda. Thank you. Link. Oh, boy. Smooching time. 
I've heard the movie's a love letter to the cartoon. I, I would say that's that's somewhat accurate, yeah. Because it, it, and I won't spoil it for people, for those that haven't seen it yet, but it, it's very, um, it very much expands the universe of Ghostbusters the way uh, you'd imagine a cartoon series would. So it's, yeah, it, I, to me that's an accurate statement. I like it. Some fans haven't liked it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I did. I actually liked it better than Afterlife, but after, not saying Afterlife was bad. Afterlife was fantastic. But this one, it just, it felt like I was watching the real Ghostbusters animated series in live action form in many ways. It was like a long episode of it. I was like, that's cool. Oh, it's that stupid Chocobo that saw me. Well, how am I supposed to get there without him seeing me? Oh, I hate these Chocobos. I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna make some Chick-fil-A sandwiches out of them. Screw that. Come on, man. I swear. Wouldn't be surprised the haters were diehard 2016 defenders. I hope not, because, like, it was funny because I was looking at and Rotten Tomatoes, whatever, it's just an aggregate score, but if you compare, you see the trend. If you look at the reviews for um, Ghostbusters 2016 for Rotten Tomatoes, it's, like, up here, and the user score is, like, down here. When you look at the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes for Frozen Empire, it's complete opposite. Audience scores up here, Rotten Tomatoes is down here. So it's like, so uh, you kind of get an idea what kind of movie you're signing up for. It's a straight up Ghostbusters movie. Like, there's ghost busting, there's some apocalyptic threat that they have to beat, and uh, they fight it at the end. That's, it's Ghostbusters. And plenty of real and humor. Like that, that's how you do it. I forgot what button I have to press to get on him. Damn it! Can't I just get that chocobo? I forgot what button I had to press. Was it R1 or something? Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm already seeing the typical, um, the movie's woke statements making the rounds. It's, again, it, it, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's Ghostbusters. It was good. I do like Paul Rudd as one of the Ghostbusters. I think it's funny. But you know what's crazy about Paul Rudd? Um, the fact that he is younger than Ernie Hudson. And somehow Ernie Hudson looks in, in, in overall better shape than he does. Like, Ernie Hudson looks about the age of, of uh, Paul Rudd. He's way older than him. Ernie Hudson, man, that man does not age. He looks great for his... He's 78! Oh, there's that cho- How am I gonna do this? This thing's going faster than me. It's looking over here. Okay, it went away, it went away. Checkpoint updated. The checkpoint got updated. Oh, can I get him? Or her, I guess, Bell? Don't look over here. Look somewhere else. I'm throwing a rock. I hate this. Damn it. It shows no interest in the rock. Oh. Is there a switch? There has to be a... Oh, look, look. There's a switch. Here we go. I'm going to get the switch. Yes. All right, now I can get him. Because this is going to start moving, I think. Oh, it's going the opposite way? I want it to go that way. I hate this. <laughs> they have chocobos. This is not fun. I don't like these chocobo minigames. Got to move so slow. It's going faster. There. Oh, wait. 
I thought I failed. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna kill all of them. I'm gonna kill them all with fire and make some chicken nuggets. There we go. Well, at least we got this checkpoint here now. Have you been on trains before? You know, I went on a train when I was a kid. I don't remember it, though. I, I vaguely remember being on a train. I don't know where we were going. It's like a summer vacation or something. I don't know where we were going. I assume it took a really long time. Alright, let's try this. Don't, don't look. These other chocobos are not minding their own business. I'm gonna stay with the train. I jumped ahead before. I thought he was gonna see me. Oh, this other one, can he, is he gonna see me? Oh no. My God. I think I did it. Let's see if I can actually get this thing. Almost. Okay, it's not looking now. Now I should be able to get it. There you go. It's my chocobo. Got a cool color looking one. Good bird. Alright, we got Bell. Bell the Chocobo. You're mine now. Bow down in servitude, chicken bird. What a pain in the ass. The Chocobos of this region have legs and talons strong enough to scale certain cliff faces. Oh, cool. So, anywhere where there's graffiti... That's our markers there. All right. That makes sense because there were some walls I couldn't climb before. Like around this area and stuff. So now I can get to all the other areas. Look, I like how they get two chocobos and they didn't have to work for it. I did. They did nothing. They don't deserve the chocobos. I do. Um, you know what? So yeah, look. Because look, I can climb over there now. Let's go to the explanation mark. I'll do all that later. Let's continue. I wonder, do people in the Final Fantasy universe eat Chocobo? I'm assuming they probably do. So all of this is people Juno. eat anything. Everything above us. Below is under Juno. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. There's always fishing villages in Final Fantasies too. And RPGs in general, I guess. You just have those like seaside fishing villages. I'm not drinking coffee. Hmm. Need that. I need that caffeine. Am I going the right way? See, it's cool. You have all the air uh, air vehicles there. Great time in Legoland. Yeah, it should be fun. I've never been. Um, I know that most of the rides are a little more for like the younger kids. I think they have like a roller coaster too or something, but it's definitely a lot more tame. It actually used to be uh, before it was Legoland. It was this park that got shut down called Cypress Gardens, and I remember going there as a kid. and It was super boring. Like, there's a lot of flowers, and, like, it's called Cypress Gardens. So, it's just a bunch of flowers. They had some rides at some point, and then no one cared about the place. And it shut down. I guess the Legoland people bought it, turned it into Legoland. Welcome to Under Junon. 
our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. I can't tell if this character's young or older. thousand each a woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it I wonder if Shinner would really pay though well, you know what they say can't take it with you Joe welcome hmm. Hmm. and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top it's good half money a million Consider our lips sealed. So Rhonda's middle age, I'd say so. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Oh, good, I could rest. Take you enjoyed Maybe Ghostbusters? Yeah, Ghostbusters was awesome. Through. Not that I saw. I know, I, I've seen some fans actually, like, talking about it like it was an awful movie. I was like, I don't understand. Like, what, I don't, what was there not to like? It was the cartoon in live action. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what. But the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. She turned us in with her iPad. It's a Final Fantasy game, key to identify important characters, how good looking they are. That's true because remember last time all the NPCs we were looking at, they were all Sonic 06 characters. <laughs> they were all just like regular ass people, straight out of Sonic 06. I'm sure we'll see more of them all over this town too. Don't let's, care what she said. There's gotta be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town. Yeah, Red 13's got cool hair. The locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. I feel like they're gonna pad this part. See, look, we got Sonic 06 NPCs. Oh wait, Tifa, where are you going? Let's talk. Man, she's hauling ass. She's a woman on a mission. Magnata books. Hey there, looking to augment your folios? Finish my replays of RE1 through 3 remakes. Oh, you did one. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were doing that Chris play to do. Excellent. You didn't do zero? I don't blame you if you didn't. People tend to skip zero when they can, you know. It's rough. What I want. Tifa? I put her back on my team instead of Barrett. I, I like her attacks. But I might as well use her points here. Ten points left. Cloud. All right, we did that. Come back soon. Now more powerful. <laughs> Don't have zero, and also not really my favorite part of the RE story. Thinking of picking up RE4 next time it goes on sale. 
I imagine it'll go on sale. Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Juno. Yeah, R Zero. It's a floating city. It's rough. Built atop a fleet of you no know, Rogue Dragon if you're here. I know he likes it. Which again, I don't hate it. It's just I don't particularly enjoy playing it. Hello there. Inspiring. This guy's name is Snaps. I'm Snaps, by the way. Todd Snap. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you for posterity? <laughs> They're like on the run from Shinra, and he's letting the stranger take photos of him. Front of the camera. Cloud's kind of dumb. About behind it. So, apparently, there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment. What do the remake the rest of the Resident Evil games? I think of it. I don't know if all of them. I think there's almost a cert, uh, a hundred percent certainty that we'll get a uh, RE uh, Code Veronica remake. And maybe RE one. I, I people seem to say RE five. I don't know. I, I I still, in my opinion, I think RE five is still like low on the remake list in Capcom. I I don't know what the the what you could really do with that game to remake it. I mean, other than make changes to the story, that I don't know. It's, it's just, it, it, I didn't think RE4 needed a remake. I feel even stronger about RE5. Because RE4, you know, it was a GameCube era game. RE5 was Xbox 360 era. But then again, Dead Space was too, and that got a full remake. That was good, so maybe I'm wrong. I don't want to play with these kids. I don't want to play this stupid card game. After that joke of an article IGN put about remaking RE5, yeah, it's stupid. I, I saw that. They're talking about, like, but they shouldn't do it because of the whole racism thing. It's like, well, there, I mean, there is no racism in the game. The By the way, it happened again. You guys know how we always talk about something on stream and it happens? You guys remember, la maybe it was last stream or the stream before that. I brought up that Marvel game, that Captain America and Black Panther one. I was like, whatever happened to that game? Like, they announced it years ago and then nothing. And now they released, like, a small teaser trailer. I'm telling you, there's something magical happening here. There has to be. Marvel 1943: Rise of Hydra. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? Played Valkyrie profile never. Sunlight being one similarity. I've heard of it. <clears throat> I would hate if Five gets remade. It doesn't need it. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I'd still play it. I'd still get it. It'd probably still be really good. It, what do you need it for? I haven't done any of this stuff. I'll do these off stream. I wish you all the best in your honorable hunt for world and health. Oh my gosh! Actual customers! See, your streams have some mysterious magic power. I'm telling you. Wesley, you know. You've seen it happen time and time again. Somehow. Somehow it happens. I love it. Man, HP up. What do I, how much do I have? I kind of want HP up so I can put it on the. I want to put HP up on all my characters. Come back again, please. You know what? I'm going to get some high you potions. You want to buy something? Here? Okay. Made some spicy mac and cheese. Really good. Yesterday I went to, uh, I went to an arcade. Then I went to Twin Peaks. Not the show. It's like a Hooters kind of place. They have good food. I had the uh, spicy, spicy meatball parmesan sub. And that was delicious. It was very good. Let me just spend all my gold. Oh, crap. No, because what if there's good weapons that I could buy? Let me not do it yet. I want to go to the weapon shop. Thank you so The plot for so Queen's Blood gets off the rails. <laughs> I just don't like those card games. I only do it if I have to. Let's check this first. Can't wait for Killer Clowns. I can't wait for that. That's going to be so fun. That is going to be so fun. I got to do some community streams for it. I have to. <laughs> what can I do you for? What can I do you for? 
All right, let's see what he's got. Sold out. Hmm. This is good. Damn, 2500 These are expensive as shit. I'd rather get this, though, than potions. Because this actually affects stats and stuff. Um. Maybe, maybe I can afford one high potion. Don't be a stranger. Let me go back and see how much the high potion is. The stores only sell weapons you miss from chests or in past chapters? Oh, really? Is that how it works? So there's no, like, store-exclusive weapons? I actually kind of like that. If you miss a weapon in a chapter, you can still get it. All right, now I'm broke. I got 39 bucks. Come back again! What did I what did I buy? Oh yeah, the the band. Wait, hold on. This right here. This is what I bought. Let's increase defense a bit. All right. Let's uh the materia just the materia because I got the HP ups now damn it it's triangle uh, what is that the Tifa's got that He's my main character. I'll put that here. And you, my friend. All right, let's give him uh, another HP up here. Yeah, look at that. Look at their health go up. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, perfect. That's how we get more powerful. Do you like hot chicken wings and hot chicken fingers? I like boneless wings. I don't like I don't like bone wings. It's a thing. I never liked them. Hey, there's Aerith. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Tifa. Aerith is already trying to sabotage me. It's like Jaws. Talk to me. Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? There must be a crowd up there now. I'm starting to see the pattern with this game, really. It's like a big uh, shopping slash town area, open area, boss battles, and then Rizzer P. I mean, but I guess you can say that about any RPG, to be, to be quite fair. Wait, can I go down here? No. I'm ready to fight. I'll fight something. And I need a luxury hand massage. No one's given me any since since the uh, since the last game. It's been a while. I already no, I went there. I gotta go to the inn and rest too later. Which we gotta go meet the characters there anyways, right? The people here, they hate the lack of sunlight, but not me. I like it this these way. These people probably burn easy if they never get sunlight. All together in a group? Didn't expect that. Right, there's Barrett. Not every day we bring in this oh, many fish. Hope tomorrow's rest. I was streamed Final Fantasy X. No. I think the only Final Fantasy I've streamed is what? Eight, I think is the only one. Well, minus all the seven ones. Besides like seven remake and, and integrate uh and this, I think what, eight? Have I done any other? I don't think so, right? Oh, Stranger of Paradise. Some fishing village this is. I did that too. Even allowed to take a rowboat out. 
Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing the boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOS. We're stuck here forever. Waters here used to be teaming with fish, practically jumping. What's today? Monday? And it, when's the new anyone know when the new X-Men 97 episodes are? Is it Wednesdays? Only things caught in the nets are they update on Wednesdays, right? I ain't talking to me. Shinra just couldn't help. I know Bad Batch is Wednesdays. Had to go and poison the sea too. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even a lot. Shinra saying, short of stealing the boat and causing the sea. Keep talking to people. Look at, hey, look, I'm shooting those most wanted. Come get me. Look, I'm right here. Fools. There's Tifa. Crisis Core remake. Thank you. You are right. Apologies, I'm a bit chatty today. Hey, that's how you keep the chat alive, right? I forgot about I always forget about Crisis Core because like that 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 final battle it, it, just, it, it fizzled my mind. She wasn't kidding when my she mind was all destroyed gone. after that. Got any other ideas? Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm. Oh, Who cares what Rhonda she thinks? Kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? God, they got these card players everywhere. Oh, we got side quest. Been making deliveries since way back when, but now that one of my carriage's wheels broke, I've had to suspend service. If I get my hands on a replacement, I suppose I could fix the damn thing. But honestly, maybe this is all for the best. Accept job. We accept all our jobs, and then we put it in the backlog for later. What else is here? A lot of people forget about Crisis Core, yeah. I do like the gameplay in Crisis Core, but I, I don't know. The story doesn't... I don't think the story flows well. I don't like the story as much as the gameplay. Hello there. Look at this guy's hair. Room for one. <sighs> Are you going to stream Tomb Raider 2? Yeah, after I beat Tomb Raider 1. With Tomb Raider 1, we got one more stream. I just got to do the last two chapters, and then there's finished kind of business add-on content. That was Priscilla, and from the sound of it, she needs a tough. And then we'll we'll start two after that. I think after Vice City, we'll start playing um, the uh, Hunter, uh, the game that Nataka recommended, because he 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 super chatted 200 bucks. So I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make room for that. Help! Somebody, please! Uh, we gotta go. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good game. I, I tried it on my GameCube emulator, and it works really well. So, it should be a fun stream. It, it's like a Blade kind of thing. Or I guess more like Van Helsing. I don't know. I, I guess that's how I described it. Yuffie. Or Yuffie. Oh, this is the gun thumbnail. This is Terror of the Deep or whatever. I vaguely... This was in the original, right? I vaguely remember this colorful Fitch thing. Vaguely. Come on, I had you all leveled up in Intergrade. You can take this on. <laughs> By the way, anyone here has gone swimming with dolphins before? I did a dolphin encounter once. It was awesome. They're very, like, rubbery. It's weird. <laughs> Del Lago? Yeah. We need Leon S. Kennedy here with the harpoons. Oh, fuck. I hope I'm strong enough because I haven't had a chance to grind. We had a hard time with the snake. Huh! 
Tomb Raider 2 is the best of all the Tomb Raider games. I always liked Legend. I love Tomb Raider Legend. For a while, that was my favorite. Oh, man. Hold on. I'm not ready for this. I feel so rusty. Wait. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely rusty. They can't put me in a fight immediately like this. How do I... Okay, that's how I got the circle. This is not going to go well. <laughs> don't worry. Neither Fang nor Cloud will suffice. Okay, how am I supposed to... Maybe Barrett would have been good here, because it's in the air. There you go. Yeah, this is going to suck. <laughs> Get me out of here. Man, Aerith would have been nice to have here because of her magic. I didn't think about that. Slowly chipping away my backlog till you buy new games. Then it done does all the work. I've been there. Thunder hurt it real bad. Damn, I really should have gotten Aerith. I got a heal already. I don't like these airborne enemies. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Cloud! Back away and heal, dude. Again? Nah, I, I, I wanna start over. This is not going well. I wanna do it over. See, I hate adding characters to my party that I never use, though. Then you have to transfer everything over. We'll stick with it. We'll try it. Gonna make me do everything? <laughs> have you played Jack and Daxter games for Yes. Do I have the collection here? I never actually played it. I let him have that one. That was going bad. Didn't count. Oh, I should have done checkpoints so I could change. I'm thinking about bringing Barrett. Instead of Tifa. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll do it. Because you can shoot from a distance, you know? Do I want to do that? Yeah, I want to do that. Shit, how do I switch them out again? Oh, can I not switch them out here? Oh, I think I have to reload checkpoint, don't I? Because I don't think I can switch them out here. Because shit's already going down. Damn it. Combat settings? Oh, I went forward too far. Retry for checkpoint. I guess that's right. I 
think you can go to party. Oh yeah, you're right. It's combat settings. Um. Yeah, I think I'll do Barrett. This game is definitely going to focus on you trying more members. Yeah, it's. I've noted. I've been noticing that. I can't just keep the same people like I like to do. See, but this is what I hate. I hate having. And yeah, I. I get you could do all this like manually or automatically, but it's like I don't. I like managing everything myself. Let's give him some earrings here. I'll do bulletproof vest. He's gonna take Tifa stuff. <clears throat> now I'm gonna stick with that one. Hunter's bangle. Alright, what did Tifa have? Nah. What he's got is fine. Oakley dokes. Now we gotta do the materia and we're good to go. Max HP plus 200. Let's do it. And then we're gonna take Tifa's HP up. Barrett may be my ultimate warrior. I do like that this kind of has you, you know, trying out different people. It gets you out of your, uh, your norm that you, that you would do. Let me, just, let me just do a straight shot on everything that Tifa had. <sighs> okay. That's it, right? Who do I have as his uh, summon? Leviathan would probably be good here. I haven't used this yet. The Chocobo Moogle one. Shiva. I like Shiva. All right, let's try this. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! Help! Anybody, no. please! That's a lot of crops to say. No. That sword. You're some kind of. That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go. Let's get it. There's a monster attacking. Maybe Bear will save the day now. This way. Down here. I'll just I'll just spam it. The the, the gunfire and then just like stay away from it. There, skip. It's on you. Yes, it's my turn. On this. See look, I can actually hit it. Yeah, he's the one to use here. Don't worry. I, you know, I, I hate these kind of moves that bosses do. I got this. When uh, they trap you, like they paralyze you. I've never liked those kind of moves. All it's doing is distracting you. Don't do that again. I gotta learn this thing's moves. <clears throat> Doing a good amount of damage though. A little bit. Sickle Barret. Hang back. Keep it together. How sick with what's working? See? I'm gonna kill this thing with Barret. Single handedly. Oh, you know it's gonna change his attacks halfway through, too. I bet. Bio damage on it. I got you, Cloud. 
You know what? I'll red 13 save him. Neither Fang nor Claw will suffice. Oh, I hate this fish. Why why can it even breathe underwater? Or oh, out of the water, I mean. Alright, red 13, heal. See, I gotta switch between lightning and uh Oh, here we go. There we go. Now I can do some real damage. There we go. Screw this thing. Wait, wait, wait. We're halfway. It better not transform. See, look, now it's gonna get harder. But that's all. Jaws. It's gonna get harder. Watch the water. Deal with that. All right. Watch and learn. Oh no, it's pulling me in. Run! Summon, summon. Uh, ooh, I kind of want Ramu. I want Leviathan. I haven't used Leviathan in a while. Get him. So cool looking. It's like a giant Barracuda dragon monster. This isn't too bad so far. So far. Uh, cure? Let's see what I can do here. What's up, man? Getting Happy Gilmore too. I saw that. Yeah, it, it's Netflix's Adam Sandler Studio. Works directly with them all the time. That's why he always has all these goofy movies coming out for Netflix exclusively. This thing surprisingly was not hard to kill once I got Barrett in there. That was actually one of the easier bosses. Oh no, you don't. Dolphin! Just got an Xbox Series S and playing old games with Magic again. Series S? What old games are you playing on now? Because most of those games are you play on a. Uh, on Series X, too. Thank you, Flipper. Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Yeah, it's been Happy Gilmore too. It's crazy that they're doing it so many years I'm later. Again. What, what are we gonna get the Water Boy to? Latrice, welcome. What did you miss? You just missed a boss fight. Before that, we were just wandering on this town. But I fought this giant, colorful beta fish looking thing. She's so cold. And Sarek's welcome. Maybe hey, we met Yuffie. Go find a doctor? There's no time. I got you, Yuffie. I got cure. I got cure magic. Don't just Replaying Far Cry 3, me. but not the classic edition. The original runs so good. Oh, yeah. I want to stream the classic edition. Which is basically just remastered version. I love Far Cry 3. Now, start. I played it like crazy on PS3. She lives! 
DJ Chocobo's back. Ayo, hey, welcome. You picked the wrong girl, creep. What? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left. Are you ready for Easter this year? We're actually watching uh uh Godzilla X Kong on Easter Sunday. We're gonna go to 4DX. I already got my tickets. I'm so excited. He was Gogeta. Nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron. I want to try her out, but I don't want to switch out Red 13. I might have to. Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You have a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to beat that guy. Kids these days, I swear. I swear. Come now. Who's that? Speaking of uh, kids, I bought my daughter today the uh, Princess Peach Showtime. I was going to buy it because I want to play it, but I was like, yeah, I'll wait. But I'll just play hers. But um, I bought it for her because uh, since they're on spring break, I was like, yeah, it'll keep her busy till we go to Lego Man. I, I was watching her play it. It looks pretty cool, actually. She's got Ninja Peach. Hello, Tifa. How are you doing? We really need to shut that reactor down. You remember Four Kids TV? Isn't that where they played like Kirby and stuff back in the day? Like on, uh, I don't know what channel that was. Was it WB? I, I don't remember what channel it was. I remember Four Kids TV though. Too quiet. <laughs> Is Bear the biggest human in this universe? I'm sure they're bigger. Maybe. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be. You know who would play a good live action bear in a movie? Uh, well, uh let's see, the guy who played Kang. Cool, but Think we but I mean, with all his allegations and stuff, that would not happen. <laughs> but and gotta thank you for before. Kind of, I, I think he would do a good job resembling him. Come by the end tomorrow. So They're not gonna find a guy that's actually that big. Later. Like wide, I mean. Um. I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick, but hey, she's just a kid. Ate some grilled cheeseburgers, nice. Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> I had some leftover Domino's pizza from yesterday. It was disgusting. Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Idris Elba is Barrett, nah, he's too old. Barry, I think Barry should be a little younger. Try the smoke I love his yourself, but yeah, he, I, he's too old for Barry. Now can I rest, please? Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, the Rock is big. No, please. Thank you so much. The Rock is not a good actor. Is on us. We insist. And he doesn't even look it's like the him. Least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. I'm disappointed you about Domino's. I didn't order it. My wife happened. did. I was out in an arcade with a couple friends for his birthday. And I came home and they're like, oh, we got leftover Domino's. I was like, gross. She orders it when I'm not there. Because if I was home... I'd be like, no, fuck that. If you're in order pizza, order real pizza, like New York style. From like one of these local hole in the wall places, not some franchise cardboard with cheese. The more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. Stranger's voice. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Is Domino's that bad? I don't like it. Damn I think it tastes like cardboard. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? Yeah, I think it's cardboard with cheese. 
get New York style from a hole in the wall. Wow. Way better. Always will be. Who's in there with you? Did you say you went to Arcadia? No, I went to an arcade. Uh, an arcade right. bar. I thought it was someone else. The enormous one that is nope. in our area. Okay, Not David Buster's. The Buster's barely an arcade. They, it's just ticket machines. And then, like, a couple games sprinkled out. But this one had, like, Contra. <laughs> All right? The original Contra. And it had, like, a bunch of Japanese arcades and Star Wars Battle Pot Arcade. Uh, the new House of the Dead, the Scarlet Dawn Arcade. Like, they have real games. Real games. There's a difference. There's an arcade, and then there's an arcade. Ah, hello, my friend. My pet. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Don't worry. Never thought you could. <laughs> I'll leave it all to you, then. I'll take a little Caesar show with Domino's. I think they're both gross. <laughs> I'm telling you, like New York style hole in the wall. That's how you do it. You play the original Far Cry 1 way back in the day when I had my original Xbox. Yes, and I remember playing the Wii version, which is garbage. And look, if you play the Wii version now, oh my lord. I think they, what did they call it? I think they called it uh, Far Cry Blood Vengeance or something. It's so nasty looking. Yeah, I see a chest. I don't want you, I want that treasure. Empress's Scepter. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. I'm sick. Mm. Pizza Hut is good. I think Pizza Hut is is the better of the franchise pizzas. So, a little random, Papa John's maybe a close second. Do you remember the first time we met? Everything under that's crap. <laughs> you shoved a flower at me. You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know. In a vase. Chicago, Uno, and, and Orlando, depending on where's in two bad. Yeah, I know exactly the one you're talking the about. There's not a lot there. of them. Hey, I wonder, I mean, did those go out of business for the most part? I, I, there Some used to be a lot more of those restaurants. A present from a girl. I only know the one that's over by, like, the Disney one? area. Water under the bridge. But next time... Yeah, this arcade was cool because they had, like, machines that weren't real arcades either. Like, there was a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 arcade. And it was just the Sega Genesis game being emulated with arcade controls. But, like, they had their own custom cabinet. And I was like, that's awesome. I would love to have that. I mean, you can make it yourself, but it's not worth it for one game. But it was cool to see. I'm just harassing people in the hey, rooms now. So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. To your autograph. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> Far Cry 1 had mutants and superhuman powers. Yeah, wasn't it that doctor? <laughs> wasn't there a doctor or something that was injecting people with like some like animalistic abilities or something? I, I remember the story vaguely. Didn't waste any time getting out yeah, there were some kind of like feral like superpowers. I want to stream Far Cry 2 sometime, because I've had that forever on my PS2. Or PS3. Downloaded. I've never played it. I've heard the bad guy, or the bad guy in the second game is the main character from the first game. I saw that was like a fan theory that they confirmed not too long ago. That's the same guy. Florida has a lot of arcades. Yeah, the arcade scene in Florida has grown a lot. So I feel bad for all these states. They're like, oh, there's no arcades around me. And Grant, thank you for five bucks, man. Appreciate that. Super chat. Have to introduce you to buddies sometime. I don't know if you'd like Detroit style, though. Little Caesar sells it, too. They're also Detroit based. I don't know. I don't know exactly what Detroit style would be like. You know what I don't like? The ones that have like the really thin crust. Is it like that? 
Oh, let's use voice plays when it when the notification pops up. This will be our first test. you to buddies sometime Ick if you would like Detroit style though Little Caesars sells it till they're also Detroit based <laughs> we got the pirate voice it's pretty much rising a little Call of Duty gameplay yeah I should have never doubted you Tifa me and Aerith are not dating it's please funny. believe me I never should have doubted you either Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? I remember Emilio. The only person from the village I remember is you. The only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay then. His family owned the general store. Cloud Magnet. Right. <sighs> anyway. He left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him. At so the PS is retro arcade where it's half yeah. game store and half arcade called yeah. retroware. And what's more, yeah, ours. Uh, I, I like going to one called Arcade stunning. Monsters. Like they got a couple locations, model. but they just opened a new one that's enormous. But yeah, they got a. Uh, they got a bar, they got food, and they got empanadas. Yeah, it's it's so good. Not really. With some like cilantro lime sauce. Happy to listen, so go ahead. Yeah, we, were, we were there all day, just Forget it. having drinks, having food, playing arcades. And they got like two giant rows of pinball machines. No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll Square pizza with thick problem. crust with sander toppings? Yeah, I've had pizza Anything like that out. before. I didn't know that was necessarily referred to as Detroit style, but I do like that kind of pizza. I, I, I like thick crust. Your guts, huh? I don't like these little thin crust pizzas. It's not filling. My iron stomach. She's hopelessly in love. Like a Disney movie. Nerds are taking over, so let's add more arcade bars throughout the States. Oh, yeah. Like I said, Central Florida, we, we've got a lot of arcade bars. And I'm not even talking about Dave & Buster's. Dave & Buster's doesn't count. That's too franchised. That, that's they, they're not, they don't know what they're doing. They just have ticket machines. And then like they'll buy like a Terminator Salvation arcade throw it in the corner. Like That sucks. Like I'm talking about like, a real independent... like. Uh, arcade bar that has like a mix of like retro and newer stuff. Oh, and you know what else they had? And I was so excited because I had not seen this game in years. Silent Scope, the original one. There's no Silent Scope, the Konami arcade where you have the sniper rifle and you look through. I beat the whole game. I was so happy because that's one of my favorite arcades to play back in the day. And I have not seen that in years anywhere. And they had one. They have a fully functioning one. So fun. It's badass. Obtain an orb of lightning materia. Love that game. Yeah, they made a bunch of silent scopes. I'm so glad they had it. They had House of Dead Scarlet Dawn. They had Halo. All their locations have Halo. Fire Team Raven. I we beat that too. It's also, it's like $25 entry, but you just play the games as much as you want. They're all free play. You'll spend more than $25 actually paying for these games. The Halo Arcade, it's like $1.25 per play normally, so. And you die in that game constantly. So it's a good deal paying $25 just playing arcade. They make all the money on, like, the stuff they, the entrance and, the, like, the bar stuff that they had. And they had $3, like, seasonal beers because they were trying to get rid of all the beers they had during Christmas. So we had a couple of those. Oh, and they had pool tables, too, so we were playing pool.
I was already a couple beers deep though, so my coordination in pool was not. I did not perform that well. I did not perform that well at all. Come on in, guys. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. Another character joins the fray. Material hunter and elite ninja operative for the interim Wu Tai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. That was funny when she kept messing with Zack, which is a little kid. In those challenges or whatever. Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ. They just didn't understand, but you guys get it. Don't ninjas creep around in the dark, slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stupid. <laughs> I present that. Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive so i've been moving from town to town hustling wait for clown any moment say can you please shut the fuck up he's just sitting there like who I is this person here. and lucky i did because i met Rhonda. she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is seriously yes uh, just spit it out already who else? <laughs> He's getting tired of his shit. He's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra. That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there, here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. <clears throat> oh, wow. Tell us more. She on crack or something? No sugar. Okay. She's on no sugar. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. Is that that douchebag with the motorcycle from the first game? No, no. You don't want to make me come. Uh, yeah, what was this guy's name? Rolo or something? What was it? Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Yeah, Dynamo from Mega Man X5. That's right. I forgot about that. That's what we were calling him. Dynamax Dynamo. I remember this jackass. I hate this guy. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the You might see a long shot for actually Roach, not Rolo. Get Got that long well, shot I've here. Got news for you, young man. As in my feet, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Daniel. Was he in the original game? In regular seven? I don't remember him in that. Did you come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big. And I think he was here so perfect. Just won't do. He was in the original? But no need to worry. Char said no. I found the perfect stage. He, no, okay, so he wasn't. Yeah, I don't remember. He, he was original for Rebirth, wasn't he? Because I, I don't remember him from anything else. With a show none shall ever forget. He's like a flamboyant Lobo. 
Be but nowhere near as cool. Out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuki said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. You're keeping the background for a minute while I fill this fish tank real quick. I just killed a Thanks giant fish. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. A monster fish. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Saboteur! Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. It's called Rose Dynamo from now on, yeah. He is Dynamo. New quests are available in the Junon region. Oh, thank God, fast travel's available now. Finally, I can go back to the grasslands and finish stuff later. Couldn't do that before. All right, now the world opened up a bit. What an asshole. Let's talk to people. Who's an asshole? <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? We're on the same side even when I told Assassin's where you are exactly. It's like, we're on the same side. Oh, yeah? Gah! Stab! I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. It's an oddly realistic Since looking dog. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. So weird. Uh, doesn't seem Sonic like too six much dog. of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Ask where his son is. I don't care. I just want to take the job, but I want to know about the money. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's got to learn to stand on his own two feet. Sides. I've got someone else to take care of now. By the way, I got a new video yeah, coming out this week. Well, depending on copyright blocks. I don't know if it'll get copyright blocked. I hope not. I got a Dick Tracy uh, movie review. I'm trying to bring back classic movie reviews, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. The crow's um, Boy, I should have it done by tomorrow. I'm going to post yeah, it. Thumb, I suppose. Wednesday so for five dollar and up patrons, Thursday for one dollar and up patrons, and Friday will go live for everyone. Kind of sad if I'm being honest. But if you guys want more movie, away, or actually move that a day back, but if you guys Don't want more movie reviews, you want to you want to make sure you watch that. It's gonna be fun. Dick Tracy. Once you make it, where I say the word next, Dick over and over. <laughs> He'll make sure you get the reward. I promise. Enjoy the copyright vlog. Yeah, if it gets copy, actually. You a copyright block is actually it. better than it you just getting claimed because they could sit on a copyright claim for 30 days. But if it gets copyright blocked, I could fast forward it to the appeal process and then they only have seven days. So that might email. actually be to my benefit so if, if it gets copyright hurt, claimed at hurt. all. Which it probably will because it's a, a Disney produced Touchstone Pictures movie. So there's probably going to be a claim on it. We'll see. Doesn't matter, I'll fight it anyway. And I'll win. We don't lose copyright claims on this channel. It's not what we do. Yeah, alright, let's take all these jobs. We need to do this stuff because we gotta level up. <laughs> Cloud vs. Raiden sword fight, who wins? And who's Raiden? Like Mortal Kombat? Or are you talking about Raiden from Metal Gear? Because Cloud would, Cloud would beat both of them. Raiden got beaten by Shao Kahn with a simple hammer. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then Raiden from Mortal Kombat 1, he, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing yet. The Frogmaster's Request. We'll go here. Speak with the Frogmaster to hear the details. What the hell is a Frogmaster? Oh, for Metal Gear? Yeah, like I said. 
Cloud of Strength. He's got, like, magic and shit. All he has to do is summon Leviathan, or Shiva, or anyone else. Fucking Chocobo. A Chocobo Moogle combo. Or are you talking about cutscene riding? Because there's cutscene characters and then gameplay characters. Cutscene characters are always stronger. Cow easily has a whole movie slashing and jumping off buildings bigger than anything Raiden did. In yeah, exactly. But uh, once again, he's got magic powers. Whoa, look over there. What's that giant bird? There's a giant bird over there. It's like over here. Most interesting. No magic, just swords. Still, I, I don't know. The sword, cloud sword is bigger. I, I think cloud probably would take it. It's a cyborg ninja versus a man injected with alien DNA. I know. From a Japanese JRPG, so I mean, yeah. Hello, dog. Follow salmon. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Taku, what's up, man? You missed the fight with the giant beta fish. The terror of the deep. Hey, Cloud. Remind me. How old were you when you left home? 14. Wait, it was spring, so 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. This is more annoying. You said Yuffie and this. Your code Veronica Steve but. Steve. Always Steve. But. 2000 Gil. She offered me that. To make a what is this music? <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down though. Didn't I feel like I'm playing like a classic Mega Man game and I'm on the menu. Like the upgrade <laughs> menu. Still can't help your price of two grand. Sentimental I got you, doggy. Bear it for the win. Go, doggy. <laughs> it's not the snake, I don't care anymore. Yeah, the snake uh, was long long ago defeated, thankfully. You remember Stamp the Mascot Dog? It's his theme song? I don't remember that at all, no. I like it, though. It sounds real goofy. Again, it sounds like a Mega Man menu. Like when you're in the little shop turning in your screws. Yeah, he's seen me so far. Well, at least I'm clearing out the map a bit. And there's more fast travel areas. What the hell? We have giant ass owls. That sounds awesome. This ends here. Keep it together. Need my help, do you? Want some more? Bring in the heat. Very Mega Man 8 ish, that's what I mean. Like classic, like modern classic Mega Man. It sounds so happy. Alright, pup. It actually sounds like a Tekken song for a strange day. Oh, yeah, like what we play during like the panda, the panda or kuma cutscenes. Like Xiao Yu's walking around with panda. This is what they'd be playing. Like in their ending. Okay, what? It's one of the joke endings. Go out, some parents stop the kids from leaving the nest. Claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that. But I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I wanted to soar. I hear you scoffing. 
You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. So everybody in history is thinking they'd have Sephiroth be the reason Barret has a gun arm. Did they ever explain how why Barret has a gun arm? I don't remember the storyline for that. Did they explain how he lost his arm? <laughs> I hear children singing. Overcharge! The hell is the song saying? I don't know. Children lyrics. Sweet. You know what else this reminds me of? Like in like Mario Bros. 3 or something, that like roulette mini game. This is something that would play during that, like a little mini game between levels. So did you explain the original? I don't remember. I don't remember that. Has Burly and Zelda being dogs. One sleeping in one room under the bed, the other one sleeping on the couch. Oh, man. I gotta go back and get that tower. But I gotta keep following the dog for now. Yeah, Broly, I, I'm, I'm thinking about um, actually getting him a muzzle. Just to, cause like, I don't know, you, you know, people like, um, they see dogs muzzle and they, they instantly think the worst. Honestly, that's kind of ignorance. Like, responsible dog owners, like, muzzle their dogs in unpredictable situations just to avoid any potential accidents. But I think about doing it just to be able to, like, take them around the neighborhood and stuff and interact with people, cause he doesn't get around a lot of strangers. And, like, yesterday something happened where, um, there's these new kids, these new people that moved, like, three houses down. And, man, they're kids. Like, there's no boundaries. Like, they're kids, like, ride their bikes around my neighborhood. They're, they're, like, they're, like, I don't know. They're, like, eight or nine or something. They're kids. But these two little girls, and they just, like, I was outside with Broly. Mind you, he's a giant pit bull. Um, and they just, like, they don't know the dog, and he doesn't know them. And they just came, like, running up to him wanting to pet him and he didn't know how to act like when a stranger approached him he gets kind of like not defensive but he like puts his like head back and he like doesn't know what to do and he starts shaking he's like almost like he's he's not exposed to a lot of strangers you know like outside uh so these kids just walk right up to him and start like petting his head real hard and they're like oh is he friendly and i'm like yeah he's friendly but just he doesn't know you just don't just like and you could tell he was he was getting kind of like flustered but at one point he like growled and like snapped real quick at one of them he didn't bite thankfully but he like snapped real quick because it's like warning them they're like in his face and i'm like just put your hand out and let him sniff you like you know he has to familiarize himself with you uh but he, he wasn't having it he was just like he had like a low growl because you couldn't really hear but i could feel him he had like a low growl and his legs were shaking like crazy uh, he was like scared of them but, um, that's what I'm thinking about, just getting him, like, a muzzle, like, those, like, comfortable ones that sell on, like, Amazon. Just take him around the neighborhood, and if people want to walk up and interact with him, at least he can't, there can't be any, like, accidental, you know, nips. And also, on top of that, there's a lot of loose dogs in my neighborhood all the time. All the time, there's loose dogs running around that, that get out of people's houses or some shit, so I don't, I don't want one day, like, some surprise dog to come up, and then a fight happens, you know? I'm trying to be a responsible dog owner. It's just to avoid any potential mishaps. There's so many people around here just that should not have dogs. Like, their dogs run around the neighborhood loose and then they run around chasing them. Like, I make sure that doesn't happen to my dogs. It's gonna fail you! Oh, I can't let you go. I just can't! Barrett, 
Get your shit together. <laughs> Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. <laughs> right. Right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah. Spirit's crying about his little girl leaving the nest, but she's tiny. She won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey! I guess I can make these stops. <laughs> I should have stopped at that other place. Did your dog whine while you're trying to have the best sleep? Sometimes. I have to take him out, like, right before I go to bed. Because, like, if I don't, sometimes he'll, he'll like, at 3 a.m. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, no. I'll be completely asleep, like, 3 a.m., and I'll just hear some whining by the door, and I'll be like, oh, my God. Because he has to like go emergency pee outside, so I try to take him out as, as late as possible, like before I go to bed. Sometimes I know he doesn't need to go out; though. it's just habit of wanting to go. Because he likes being outside, so I have to kind of limit him, or else like, he'll just be outside all the time. A lot of times he just bullshits around, and sniffs for like 20 minutes. <clears throat> but once he starts whining, like he doesn't stop. And if you have a pit bull, um, you'll you'll know you'll know what I mean. He doesn't just whine. If you continue to ignore them, they'll start making all kinds of sound effects. Like, oh, just some crazy noises. And it's so annoying. <laughs> like, you have to do what they want you to do, or else it'll, just, it'll be nonstop. It'll get so much worse. And he's big, too. He likes standing on me, and he'll put his, like, hands on my shoulders, paws on my shoulders, and put all his body weight on me. And I have to sit there like, what do you want? He's a monster. Did you see a new Ghostbusters movie? Yes, I loved it. It was amazing. Very good. Oh, well, Barrett. What the hell sound did you just make? That's the sound, I'm telling you. If you have a pit bull, they make all kinds of weird, crazy, like, howl, frustrated, like, sound effects when you ignore them. It starts with a whine, and then it just becomes like... Ooh, 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 ooh. Just like weird monster sounds. Like, I swear, if that dog could talk, like, there's some moments where I'm like, my God, that dog is so close. He's talking. Like, like Planet of the Ape style. <laughs> He's about to just, like, say some words. Go for it. Hang back. Die, birds. Fireball Blade. There we go. Electric. Yeah, why is this thing so powerful? Sounds like Drunk Chris is trying to get your attention to camp on words. Probably what it is. Very accurate. I hate you. There we go. Get down. What pain in the ass? Oh, sweet, leveled up. Noise. Keep it together. Your dog noise impersonation sounds like Scooby Doo. No joke, it sounds like that. Like where the dog is like trying to form words, but it's not. It's the most bizarre thing. I totally don't need to do this, but. This right here. Hello, Shiva. Use your abilities. Hell yeah. 
I like how that dog just patiently waits for the battle to be over instead of running away in fear. He's a brave boy. Sloths are one of the slowest animals in the world, but to most animals, we're slots to them. That's true, like a jaguar chasing you. Like, we're basically slots. That reminds me, you guys seen this video? There's this video of, uh... Oh, shit. I'll come back, dog. There's this video I saw, like, an Instagram reel or a TikTok. Some guy, like, he was ziplining. I don't know, it was, like, South America. It's giant, like, crevice. Like, if you fall, you're, you're done. But it, it, the zipline got stuck halfway through because they crashed, like, right into a, a sloth. There was a sloth just chilling in the middle of the zipline, and they were stuck there. They were like, oh, my God. It, like, in a zipline, when you're stuck like that, you, you very, there's nothing you could do. You have to, like, very slowly, like, make your way back. It's terrifying. Oh, because of a damn sloth. I don't want the dog to go away or anything. I guess it waits. Yeah, I guess so. Obtains a golden plume. Reminds me of House Dead 3 had a zombie. Oh, yeah, it did have a zombie. So what? What? Like, Resident Evil hasn't even thought of that. Like, a zombie sloth. It's either the most dangerous mutation imaginable or the least deadly. It's going to be one or the other. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. There's a horror film that killed a sloth called Slaughterhouse. No way. Uh, do I know you? Speaking of horror films, With did you guys Sam's see like they're guards. trying to make like a a, a, a Marvel like cinematic universe sure style Winnie the Pooh Blood Honey universe? It's it, the Pooh universe. Keep it. So stupid. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Trip. Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. That's my money. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best. College girl brings a slot to her campus as pet and starts killing people, like extremely cheese. slowly. They like it's sitting there like digging its claws real slow into their necks. That's true. They're just like, ah. We'll take it. Ridiculous. Dilster was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. What was this one movie? Aren't there was a movie. Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Like in the 90s where some guy had like avalanche? a killer monkey, right? Like a small Wait, monkey, you, like a spider monkey that was murdering people. Reactors? What am I talking about? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of. Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. There we go. More people to talk to. What do you want, pregnant lady? You think my mom knew about me and Claire and the baby? Why the horror out for public domain characters that could have made Pooh an 80s action style movie? I, someone else can still do that. Once you're out of it's there, public domain. Go pay your grandma you go visit. make it, Sarah. Send me the trailer. <laughs> I'd watch it. I'm happy we were able to meet you. Like a oh, Kung Fury like style Winnie the Pooh movie. All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny are You mid Carinos are something else. Winnie the Pooh. When I saw you on the He'll news, beat the honey I was out of blown you. away. And here you are, lending Winnie the Pooh, 100 hand. acre beat it's down. literally a dream come true. That'd be a good side title. 
Winnie the Pooh 100 Acre Beatdown. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and will someone calling themselves acre wood. the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance <laughs> of yours? Sort of. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to when help us out. Always honey, never hungry. I can't believe we're getting a second movie. That that whoever is the creator of this stuff, I don't even know his name. It's the same guy. It's like Twisted Picture Studios or something. It's like the Uwe Bowl of horror movies. Like someone must have given him like a, a loan for X amount, and he's just going through it, burning through it, making all these shitty movies that are definitely not paying back the money. It, it, it's insane because, like I said, I I tried watching Winnie the Pooh Blood Honey. I couldn't even get halfway through it because once you get over the ha ha, it's Winnie the Pooh killing people. It's just a shitty slasher. It's not even a well-made slasher flick. The lighthouse is It just barely hits all the checkpoints to be a slasher. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling. The gore is really good. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. That bad? It's it's boring. Like, is it, like, once you get over the gimmick of the you whole know, idea of the movie, it's, know, it's, I just knew it's I just not a you. good slasher flick. It's boring. And the acting is horrendous, which I get it. In most slasher so, movies, the acting is not good, but it, it's horrendous. Me. Like, you they didn't even try. <laughs> it's the equivalent well, acting of, like, an adult film. The most suitable <laughs> it's just oh, not good. Tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. I saw the Great Condor. If you're into that kind of stuff. Sad what movies have become? Oh no, we still have good movies. The, these are those direct-to-video like nonsense movies that some guy gets a loan, like a small business loan at Chase Bank, and then goes and uses it to make his own movies. That's what this shit is. Hey, more power to him if he can make it work. Where am I? I feel like I went so far. Oh shit, I traveled all that way? My god. Alright, let's go to the community map. I guess today's stream will mostly be uh, Junon region. At least the second one of the Pooh Horror movie looks like they have better effects with Pooh and Friends. I'd imagine that they would learn from the first one. They, uh... Terrifier 3 is coming out this October, which, that's gonna be a hard watch, because, like, Terrifier... I, I've always said this, like... I'm a, I'm a horror hound, man. I love horror movies. You guys know that, but... And, and like, gore doesn't bother me in, uh... In horror movies, because, I mean, it's, it's all fake with corn syrup and shit, whatever. But... A Terrifier is the first movie where I've ever, I've ever just been like, God damn, like it is, it is a bit much. And with the second movie, it made the first one look like a Disney G-rated animated movie. It was like, oh man, like once I thought he was like done like torturing someone, he just keeps going. And I'm like, oh no. Great movies though. I love them. But yeah, they're, they're, they're not easy to watch. Like, if you're someone that's sensitive to, like, gory movies, like, you just can't do it. There's no way you're gonna watch Terrifier 2, especially. Terrifier. Yeah, Ayo, you never heard of Terrifier? Google it. Terrifier, the movie. You'll see the poster. This guy's a creepy-ass clown. Art the Clown? He's horrifying. And he doesn't talk. He's just, like, silent, like a mime. But he, he's, like, this demonic clown. It's terrifying. He makes Pennywise look like Super Mario. Like, he's not scary. Terrifier was so over the top, it was unintentionally hilarious. Oh, I agree. But, like, the gore was so extreme that there was some parts. It was hard to watch, man. I wouldn't have it any other way, though. Like, go all out, you know? It, it, it's a horror movie. It's not real. It doesn't matter. 
but it's definitely like you got to be a real horror junkie to be able to enjoy that one like it's no pg-13 blumhouse theatrical movie do you watch human centipede yes that movie's horrific it's just gross though like i still remember oh god I still remember when I, with, with the girl's like mouth is connected to the guy's ass, and he has to take a dump, and he starts doing it, and she's like, "Oh, oh!" It, like, who thought of that in a movie? It's so nasty. That's hard to watch too. All right. Uh, God, look at all these side quests. Is that frog wearing a hat? Damn, man, we gotta go all the way there for the frog master. I could fast travel. It's fast travel. Talk to the frog master. Most of the settling thing I've seen lately was the show The Terminal List. Chris Pat finds his wife's killer and cuts open his stomach, wraps his intestines around a pole, and forces him to walk. It sounds like good revenge. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't have killed his wife. <laughs> he would slow his intestines. Just the thought. That's disgusting, though. Foreign horror movies are really messed up. Yeah, I don't even know. Terrifier, like, uh... I don't think the director is a foreign guy. I'm not sure, actually. His name... I, maybe he is. Well, Terrifier goes hard, yeah. And if you go Terrifier 2... They, they they double the, the, the going hard. And Terrifier 3 is supposed to be even more. The director himself said he's, he's worried about Terrifier 3. Because even he thought, like, oh, I might have gone a bit too far. But that's how those movies stand out, though. The, like, their extremeness. Otherwise, they would just get lost in the sea of generic slashers. How do I get over there? Is it above or under? Ugh. Hey, what were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place. Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. It's under Junon, so I gotta go down there. So, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far Terrified from this. Terrified 2 last 20 minutes was giant. What the fuck am I That's watching? Yeah. Sure. Well, especially the ending scene. Wouldn't know about that. Doesn't she like... Done wise cracks. Doesn't someone like give birth to, to like his head or something? It's just some weird shit. Oh my god, that movie. There, there's so much I can say about it. That's terrific. There's so much. And what makes it scary is in the first movie, they, they he's just like a guy. But then by the end, like they very much imply, oh, this is like a supernatural like killer clown. That makes it so much worse. Like, who wants to deal with supernatural clowns? I get to under Junon. Oh, I think here we go. I don't even remember that Grinch horror movie as the same actor played Art the Clown as Killer Grinch. Oh, that was the same guy? I remember that movie. It didn't look good. I didn't watch it. It's that same gimmick as Pooh, man. Like, once you get over that, it's probably not even good. I'll check it out sometime, though. You know what? Someone remind me, if you've been on this channel for a while and you were on my Discord. When I did those Discord watch parties, did we ever watch Terrifier? The first? I know we didn't watch Terrifier 2. Did I play Terrifier 1 at all? I don't think I did, did I? Because maybe, maybe we'll do that this year. I won't have to deal with copyright blocks or like age restriction because it's 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 not YouTube. I'll be doing it on Discord if I if I can figure out how to do that again. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. I'm gonna send a picture of this to my wife because she absolutely hates frogs. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? It's One this Piece. Is a no grown -up it's a, zone. it's Luffy. Lost. You're a kid. Well, duh. Well, he's not a frog anymore. It's just how this place I was about to take a picture. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a I don't frog. think so. Yeah, hey, see, hey, I didn't think so. Not Shinra, I hope. Oh no. We'll We're do it this year. Not. I want to make a Halloween hey, schedule where I could where, where, where I could do Priscilla movies again. We'll do Terrifier one her. and two back to back. Right, right? that's us. We're friends. I'm telling you, it's not for everybody. Are you a friend of hers too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. None of this sounds like my problem. So I need to save the world. What are all the way down here? Uh, playing jump frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Ah! Help us! Where Zora? I mean, Christopher Savat. I just hear Piccolo. Oh yeah, I love it. I hate to take a picture of this. She's gonna hate this. Like a frog. Hey, Turn a frog. Ribbit. 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 Am I controlling him? This is so stupid. There. <laughs> All that. Please said that too. I was telling you guys a story a while back when uh, I lived at my at home still, and me and my wife were first dating. Uh, she had her own apartment. She had her own apartment, and uh, she got home one night from work and called me, and then came over uh, my house to sleep over because there was a frog near her door, and <laughs> she wouldn't go anywhere near her door, so she just left. She just left and drove like 20 minutes to come to my house. Could she, she, I was like, just grab a stick and like push it aside. She wouldn't go near it. Uh, what the hell? Oh, apparently my dog was scratching like crazy on my door. I didn't know that. Apparently he was scratching like crazy because there's a squirrel outside. He flips out when he sees squirrels. <laughs> DJ Choco mixed the music himself. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're frogs now. Look, he's got a little sword. What? Oh, they all look different. Too. Oh my God. Wait. Is that Barrett? Whoa. He looks like Wart from Battletoads, or not Wart Pimple from Battletoads. They all look different. That's so funny. Turn into a toad, greatly reducing your combat capabilities. You can only use standard attacks, the HP restoring bubble breath and leapfrog. Okay. Use bubble breath. Leapfrog. Damn, leapfrog's pretty powerful. Bubble strike. You know Sephiroth could defeat all the heroes in this game easily. All he has to do is like float above this area and trick them to go in the swamp, and then he can just kill them in their frog forms. The game would be over. This is awesome. Alright, red 13 frog. So stupid. I wonder if frog combat is the rest of the game or just one time. Yeah, we're forever frogs. This is 
trailer. This is 100 percent filler. You know RPGs. They're gonna have all. They're gonna have lots of filler. Report back to the children. I'm not gonna lie. That was funny. I like that mission. <laughs> you can prank someone, just push them in there. It's Captain Guinea. Press circle to leap over incoming obstacles. Okay. Remain on the platform as long as you can to prove your amphibian finesse. Think you two can handle it? Sure. It's so goofy. Get all, get all, get all, get all. Oh shit! This is Fall Guys, basically. We're playing Fall Guys. <laughs> Gotta get him like this. He plays Fall Guys every Friday, I think. That's easy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I just said that's easy. I shouldn't have said anything. Man. It's pretty fun. Eh, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back. Obtained an enfeeblement ring? You look like you're having fun. Rip it. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. Hey! Ribbit. See, that's what I mean. You just prank someone. Ribbit, ribbit. Let me see if I can do better this time. I was, I was just getting the hang of it. I was shit talking too early. Now I'll wait to shit talk until the next round. I gotta get to 55 seconds. Now I'm nervous. I gotta make sure the platform above and below me doesn't hit. The one above and below. Oh no! You almost got me. I am the King Frog. Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no, one more time. One more time. I got it this time. Change now. God, it's hard to see the bottom one coming sometimes. Who are these demented kids that found this place? Ah, 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 ah. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Please. Oh! Come on, five more seconds, five more seconds. Made it. Oh man, this is getting rough. This is getting faster. No, 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 no. Come on, 15 more seconds. I can do this. I can do this. Four, three, two. Oh no! Wait, I still got five more. Oh! Ah! Oh! I made it! I made it! I made it! A minute twenty seconds. You got some serious hops. No, I know I'll play this again. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. 
What's an enfeeblement ring? I'm gonna have this song stuck in my head now. Giddle, 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 over and over. We are the frog heroes. What is an enfeeblement ring? I don't see that in my inventory. Oh, it's one of these. A ring that wakes Mary feels that they are... It makes them feel as if they are a frog staring into the eyes of a viper. Okay. Cool. That sounds beneficial. Kermit the Frog is proud of me. Thank you. Isn't there a G-Force video game with the guinea pigs? Yes. Yes, there is. It's on the Nintendo DS, I believe. And I remember seeing that at Best Buy when I worked there all the time. And no one ever bought it. It was just there on the shelves. It's shit. The ranch owner's request. Alright. I can activate some of these other towers here. There's got to be used for them rings. Yeah, maybe. Apparently it makes you feel like a frog about to get eaten by a viper. It's not exactly brave. I gotta go rest over there. See, that's a fun side quest. I like those goofy ones. God needs some potions? No, he doesn't. He just needs to sit down. See? Sitting down recovers all your grave injuries. Who are you? According Wait, to this video game. You didn't come from the grasslands, did you? I yeah, played the G-Force DS you know, game. I never even saw the movie. The swamp and everything. Liked it back then, the Who movie, was? but nowadays, I don't know if it's back uh, into it. it. Might not have aged well. Yeah, I don't know. I was already in the when I came out, so swamp I have no, uh, no love for the movie. Back. I'm gay, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. What? And before you ask, oh, my Gabe. birds are not for rent. I thought he said, I'm gay, by the way. I was about to say, like, wait, why is he telling us this? Shinra put the kibosh on all Gabe. That. Still trying to keep it going best I can. I swear it sounded like that. Trying to my Thank God for subtitles. And since I, don't I think, yeah, exactly. See, I was the only one. Both she and my business I'm gay, by the way. <laughs> Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, out of nowhere. You fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right part. Why does this old man have such like cool tattoos? Since the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. Uh, was he like some Flat tribal man? Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. Just saw some gameplay of the GeForce well, video game in a review it called it The Dark Souls of Guinea Pig right Games. Right Are there more the guinea pig business. games? Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos. Why is he shirtless? Why are you so adamant about this? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him and his birds. We have a world to save. Sweet. I wasn't really asking, but I gotta warn you: the parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here, they sure are. So where can There's we a Hamtaro video. What the hell is Hamtaro? The top of the is that an anime uh, guinea pig? Can't go on foot. Though. Anime hamster? Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. My chocobo can climb. By the name of Bell. Last I saw, she was over yonder. Have Bell. She certainly was. Yeah, the trees. The best. That's so. See you later. All right, let's roll. He still wears his pants. <laughs> oh, not for long. Come over here, boy. <laughs> I apologize, that's disgusting. Alright, let's go over here. Hey, 
Not can't. Won't. Hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. <laughs> yeah, you got dude, stupid. Afraid so. Let's see what this climb's like. Whoa. Doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for you know how strong those claws have to be for climb like that? Baby is very immature, aren't we all in a way? Aren't we all? We all have our moments. As we've seen in these chats. The SP would have screamed at you. Get this divine intel. Right here. Phoenix Sanctuary. Man, I gotta talk to, I gotta fight some of these summons. I haven't done any of them in that VR or whatever. Square, square, triangle, triangle. Square, square, triangle, triangle. That looks so cool. Level up! I love it. I think once I get Yuffie, I think I'll get Red 13 Analysis out and try her. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. I'd love to see guinea pigs in the wild, but I think I'd probably laugh on control be a death of it. Where are there guinea pigs in the wild? I only know of like guinea pigs in pet stores and shit. Like, where would you go to see them in the wild? They're just like domesticated little monster hamsters. So you want bomb? Well, how do how do I get him? Do I fight? Do I get him by fighting in the uh, uh, in the VR simulations? Aren't they New Guinea? I, I, is that why New are, is that why they're called guinea pigs? I don't know. I'm not a guinea pig connoisseur. <laughs> they're just over there in New Guinea, like chilling, like eating grass and shit. Colombia. They were just hamsters on steroids. Uh, no, you know what they did? They drank monster blood. They're hamsters. That, you remember monster blood from Goosebumps? They hamster ate the, the hamster on the front cover in monster blood, too. Ate monster blood, and now is a giant hamster. That's old school. Uh, world intel. Let's go up here. I want to get that first. Choco Bluff Light Spring. Dismount. Whoa. I almost missed that. You see the trailer for the giant spider horror film Sting? No, I never heard of that. So many like random little horror films that come out. I want to see the that uh, tarot one with the tarot cards. It, it, it's either gonna be really good or just like super lackluster. It reminds me of 13 Ghosts. Like they play with like some tarot cards and I, I guess it, it unleashes some monsters and shit. It looks interesting. I 
I'm trying to get my wife to watch the Thanksgiving movie with me, but she said it looks too scary. And I was like, come on, it is tame as hell. She's not a big horror buff like I am. She only watched that stuff when I make her watch it. I do know guinea pigs are afraid of open sky and having them outside in the open distresses them. Because they're afraid of birds. I mean, it makes sense. What? It was crazy. Once, because uh, we have a lot of trees in our, in our area. And uh, I was in my front yard once. And I was walking the dog. And we get a lot of squirrels running around the trees. Like, I, one of my, well, the trees in front of my house, I have, like, there's a whole, like, nest that they built. I saw, it was kind of cool. I watched the squirrels building. Like, they were carrying, they were, like, breaking little branches off other trees and taking them to this little nest. I watched them build it, and I was like, whoa. But what was crazy, once I was outside, and there was a squirrel just chilling on a branch, eating nuts, these nuts. It was just gobbling nuts. And then, out of nowhere, it, it happened so quick, it took me a moment to register what the hell happened. I just hear boom and the squirrel's gone and I'm like what the fuck and then I noticed like some eagle flying away with him really high in the air I was like whoa it was amazing I was like what the hell I felt bad I was like no I should have warned him but it happened so quickly I never even registered there was a bird flying around it just you just heard the sound as it snatched it and then it was just miles away I was like oh my god like, a bird snatched it. It was no- even my dog didn't notice. He just kept sniffing the grass. Guinea pigs are nature's chipotle burritos with stubby legs? Maybe. Well, they're more like fajitas. Eagles got eat- I guess so, but man, I should've warned the squirrel. That would've been nice to- Run! Can I help <laughs> Get you? the fuck away! We're trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. This is a lazy man, Wainwright. I think a swift kick could get him up. <sighs> Wake him with magic. Wake him with magic. Wake up! Do it. Lightning. Oh, you're not serious, are you? <sighs> Scared me half to death. Mm. I've heard of birds picking up small dogs and even cats. Yeah, uh, I've, I've heard that before. I've never actually list, seen that happen around here, though. Well, bird tries to bounce my dog's all uppercut. It. Up. Send it flying right back in the air. Use the Wainwright's map and your choke was. Oh. I gotta look for materials and shit. Come on. I don't want to do this. Might as well finish it. So it's by a tower. It's here. Wait. No. Yeah, it's this piece of land. That's definitely it. So there's one... I wish I could put it, like, side by side, like, picture in picture. Two little houses. So it's around here. Wait, or here. Yeah, it's like... It's like right around there. That'll be the first stop. I'd like to see bird trying to snatch up Broly. That bird would be a fool. You get a, a swift ass kicking. Is that your is what my dog? Is that Broly? Yeah, my dog's name is Broly, yes. He's a big 100-pound pit bull. No birds are going to pick his ass up. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Unless you're talking about, like, eagles from Lord of the Rings. Then they have a chance. You ever see the video of a drunk guy picking up a wombat and spinning it around saying, look at this piece of a beaver? Meanwhile, the wombat's dizzy. It's in another language. I know. You know, speaking of drunk guys, though, you know what I have seen that I think is hilarious? 
uh, one night. It was one of those late nights where you're just looking for random shit to watch and you can't sleep. I saw, um, wait, what do I do? I, 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 I went through the playlist on YouTube of drunk people fighting to Street Fighter sound effects. So yeah, there's a health bar and everything. It's so stupid. But there's so many videos. How am I supposed to find the stuff? See, the map doesn't even look exact. It's like a little piece of rock. It looks like it's like right around here. It can't be anywhere else. Oh, it's right here, I bet. I hate these missions. Gotta be here. <clears throat> like, can they smell? There's that piece of rock. See that? I'm pretty confident it's that piece of rock. So it's got to be... Oh, I hate this. It's so stupid. Maybe the other one will be easier to find. Because the one on the top right there, it's like very obviously in front of the... Uh... Oh, look, he senses something. Wait, wait. Where do you sense it? Wait, wait, it's over here where he sees it nearby. Great, thank you for another $5 super chat. One of my friends lived in Fort Lauderdale for a long time. His neighbor let her little foo-foo dog out and needless to say she never saw the dog again. What happened to it though? Like, a bird? In a lot of areas here, it's alligators. Like, you see people walking their dogs by a, by freshwater and an alligator. But that's, you don't do that. It's a dumb idea. See, it's sniffing it, like, right here. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Let's see One of my friends lived in Fort Lauderdale for a long time. His neighbor let her little foo-foo dog out, and needless to say, she never saw that dog again. Thank you, Blackbeard. Great thing for the other super chat. He lived on a pond, so it was an alligator. Yeah, because that happens. It's alligators. All the time. I would never let my dogs walk by fresh water. Where? I can't find this. Oh, found it. Let's see where that was. See, I knew it was around here. The next one. I'd buy that for a dollar. I want to see if the other voices play. He lived on a pond. It's just doing the pirate. I don't think the other voices work. Nataku, I think, for the two dollars. <laughs> Let, let's hear what the pirate has to say now. 
Oh my god, I love that voice. Either way, that's the best voice. Actually, let me check something. Let me see if I have the other voices activated. I do. It's right there. It's right here. It looks like it. Maybe. I just want to hear Obama. Maybe next time I'll just have that. I think, I don't know, when I have multiple voices, it just keeps going defaulting to the pirate. Again, the notification take a while because freaking. YouTube's API sucks. Yar Abashi made a yoho. <laughs> what? <laughs> the pirate didn't say that right at all. He's like, oh, not a yay yo ho. Have you watched the AI President's Yu Gi Oh! Championship? I'm pretty sure. Have. I swear I've seen like every like AI President like uh, YouTube video. I swear I've seen every single one of them. I, I've exhausted them. I remember once I was editing videos on YouTube and I sat there and just like let them run and autoplay all day. All right, where? It's like a little house. Is it this? Maybe it's here. It doesn't. It doesn't look like the map. Did you see the videos I sent you on Discord? Which one? A lot of people said. I'm sure I did. I get a lot of videos that people send me on Discord, and I'm really bad at checking things. That's so if you remind me, I can tell you. It's got to be here. Whoa, 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 something's nearby. It smells it. Actually, you know what? I have pirate listed as default voice. Maybe if I change the default. Let's see. Let's see if that works. You guys want Obama? Let's try that. And we'll see if it works. If anyone does, don't really. I'm not telling you guys to do that. It's saving. It takes a little while to save. Maybe that's why it keeps doing the pirate. Because I thought the default AI voice only does it if the others aren't available. But maybe that's how it's picking. But I've seen other streams where they, it randomly chooses the voice. And they have, like, different ones, like, bouncing different things. I don't see anything. Oh, now I gotta deal with these dipshits. I bet you it's over here, because the other one was around some items, right? It's gotta be over here, I bet. Maybe not. I hate this guy. It's the two videos saying you know, a guy who claims you Jesus, Jesus doing a throwdown. No, that one I don't think I watched. I'll check it out tonight. Capper wires. Damn you. You're done. It's over. If I can get the multiple AI, AI voices to work, maybe I'll do different ones each stream. That might be fun. Keep it interesting, right? Level up! Alright, now back to this stupid side mission. Look for random buried driftwood and whatever nonsense. 
Okay, let me reload this overlay. Successfully refreshed. Let me send a test one. I don't know if it'll work. Send test. Let me know if you guys hear anyone talk. No, this happens. This is a test message. The pirate. Captain Blackbeard. Yet AI presidents is never not funny. It's hilarious. It just, they, they've developed such a personality for them that's so fictional, but it, it flows from video to video. Oh, look. See. Ah, uh, I found it. I found it. Now let me move this thing out of the way. Is this it? Damn you! You told me to go over here. I hate these chocobos. In there? How the fuck? Where is that? Talk with the five dollars. Oh, we got, we got, we got a, we got a, a, a pirate sea shanty. Well, the pirates say it. I swear I'm at the location. Look, I'm gonna sniff. Oh, this is so obnoxious. It's like going inside. What do ya do with a drunken sailor? What do ya do with a drunken sailor? What do ya do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? <laughs> that actually wasn't bad. Oh my god. It's funny because, like, since it's a machine, it, like, it just mispronounces things. AI voices have come a long way, especially when they have AI presidents singing specific songs. They really have. Even these notifications, like, go, go back a couple years, like, you weren't able to do this kind of stuff. You can have, like, a generic, like, robotic-sounding voice, maybe. I don't know <laughs> what to do. Why was it, like... It's, it's like right here. It was leading right here. Look, see? Maybe it climbs? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe I just pulled it off the wall. No. What? I'm about to go get the other. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to have to come back and get this one anyways. Anyone remember? Actually, Philip, are you here? I know you got past me. Do you remember this part? I'm just, I'm actually um, unchecking everything and I'm putting Obama. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna refresh my page here. Uh, I'll check. I think a lot of this has to do with me not being able to cha make changes while streaming. I don't know. I was unprepared. 
Please enable the voice. All right, let's find this stupid driftwood. Captain's too drunk to shanty. Well, you'd think that would enhance his shanting abilities. All right, well, let me follow this closely, because I, I gotta be doing something wrong. Look, look, look. Am I losing my, it's telling me to go there, right there. Maybe it's behind it. Let me do the scent. And then run behind it. We've been we've been at this for too long. See, it's inside. It's inside there. I have to get inside somehow. There. I hate this. I'm gonna check the other one. Can you go in through that window? Um, but see, I don't know. See, and I can't. I don't think I can climb with these. I can only dash and. and let me see. So I saw. I, I saw something there on the control. Of terrain. Something. Terrain action. Yeah, it's just that. Maybe I could float. Maybe I could like. It can't be a glitch. <laughs> See, I can't go up there. Let me go find the other one. I'll look that up in a bit. That, that's not making any damn sense. The other one is in front of this thing. Is it that? This is not a good side mission. I, li I like the frog one better, to be quite honest. So this is that structure right there. It's like right, oh, let me just walk over there. Damn it. Here we go again. I want to get out of the side quest. I'll finish it up so I can move on. Be on chapter four forever because it's stupidness. Here. See, look, there's this big ass thing from the map. And my chocobo's gotta smell it like right, right over here. It's gotta smell it. I'm about to get in the fight again. Damn it! Oh, it's not See, this, this one should be easy to find. Cause if we look at the map, it, it's like, it's right here. Right under here. Watch. Sniff. What's this side mission called? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you right now. Stuck in a rut. It's called Stuck in a Rut. Pieces of dry driftwood is what I'm looking for. Stuck in a rut, driftwood. Here we go. Look how easy this one was. Look, it's right there. Easy. Can I just buy driftwood in town or something? I'm assuming they're all, like, all the pieces I need are underground. I mean, we know it's here, in this area. I 
There has to be a way in. Because it, it's through that wall right there. There's got to be a way inside. I, I, I have to be, like, overlooking something here. And there's no, like, underground area or nothing. It's just... It's just here. I, I... Oh, look. look. See, that looks like... I wonder if that's an opening. I'm never doing the side quest again. I'm only doing this because I need to level up. Stuck in a rut side quest driftwood. Stuck in a rut. Okay, here we go. It's an article on Polygon. For once, they did something right. Alright, capture Bell Chocobo did that. Okay, here it is. Located west of the first part by the ruined house. What is that? In this picture they have, it's like on the ground. Not inside that house. What? I wonder if the Chocobo scent was wrong. That article is pointless. They basically show you a screenshot of where it is. But they just like zoom into the rocks and it looks like every rock in this area. See, look, look, look. Yeah, see, it's not in the house. I guess because I sniffed it near the house, it was like the scent was going through the house. It's actually outside of it. Oh my god, look. I'm never doing that again. Well, now you guys know. Once again, you can use this stream as a very bad walkthrough. It might take a while, but you will eventually reach your destination, as I have. Awful side quest. Never again. Have you watched Dark Phoenix? Yeah, I thought it was awful. I didn't care for the Dark Phoenix movie. And I really liked the like younger X-Men movies. I thought they were all pretty good. Even Apocalypse had its moments, but... Yeah, Dark Phoenix is like... Why the hell did they use the... Uh some random ass aliens that nobody knows from Marvel Comics instead of using the Shi'ar. Why? Like, the Shi'ar Empire was such a, like, little lantern and all that. They were such a big deal. The Dark Phoenix Saga, but they did not do that. It was dumb. You know, a perfect name for that side mission is Stuck in a Rut. It really is. That's what I was almost done. Uh, that's what almost happened. Where's this guy again? Turn this bullshit in. I don't even know where the hell this guy's house was. Psst, I just fast travel there. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Wainwright. Dick. 
Got your stuff Special right delivery. here. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? <laughs> Frankly, I'm not doing much of anything. Other than thinking about the war, that is. This used to be a shelter, you know? One of the few safe spots during the air. I'm gonna set no Obama test. A lot of folks lost their lives. Here. Good. Decent folks. Can't bring back the dead, but least I can do is sit here and pay him my respects. This is a test message. That sounds just like him. <laughs> I think I figured it out. I have to I, I I have to um I think it just does the default. I gotta figure out how to do the multiple voices, because I think it does whatever I pick the default on. I know there's a way around it because I've seen other streamers Gabe do it where I, it just randomizes the voices. Back. Comrades in arms. You'd never know it now, but he used to ride front and center in the Chocobo cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains. I'll just take Chocobos in the battle. They're gonna get hurt. And attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls, too. Don't know how we survived. We fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic. He's clone Wasn't trooper. Enough. Now I'm just. I never seen that. I want Dark Phoenix. It's not good. He, he, I didn't think so. Junon versus Shinra, before your time. You didn't think all those buildings demolished themselves, did you? You know. Anyway. I'm surprised they haven't made a prequel Republic Final game. Fantasy game, unless I ha they, they have, and I'm not aware great. of it. But they haven't Another made a, a prequel Final Fantasy VII game Don't about like these wars they keep talking about. Remain. They're saying Junon versus Shinra and all that. They they haven't done that. Oh yeah. I think that'd be interesting. You did mention that. Like like Final Fantasy VII This'll Chronicles. Or Final Fantasy VII Revelations. Just pick a generic subtitle. It'll work. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do, and that's no lie. Go on, take it. You did that real quick. You wanna make more than that? Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. <sighs> like catching some seeds, for one. So if we're all done here... This guy does just sleep all day. Best be on your way if you don't need to hassle me for anything else. Worthless. Alright, let's go back over. Finally done with the side quest. Tattooed Gabe over here. Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage Old man and take nips. better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. Sleeping sounds good right In now. That case, well, that no bed looked like really uncomfortable, though. Looked like those really hard mattresses. Whew. Good as new. Oh, oh I gotta say. Choke about That old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my carrot has ever looked even half this good. <laughs> Appreciate it, kids. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. I feel like none of this Shinra's is important enough company, and would they say compared go? to saving the world. I can't blame you for being too scared oh. to fight back. Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So, there you have it. I just... There you have it. Go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. 
They need to put a shirt on. up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? Queen's Guard Bangle. Now that Gabe is back in business, you can travel between Junon region and the Grasslands without entering the mine. Oh, shit. Couldn't I just fast travel before, though? Or won't it let you travel? It won't let you fast travel between regions. Well, that's good. Let's check my bangle. Ooh, that's better. Let's do it. And I'll give Barrett the other one. Take a trade up. <clears throat> Alright, we'll do that. What else do we have in store here? Oh, we only have two more side quests there. The hardest sell. The condor watching society. We'll save the condor for last. Head to the abandoned lighthouse currently occupied by the self-proclaimed Merc of Junon. Damn, that's all the way out there. Well, we might as well stop here first. You know what? Here, let's do this. We're going to get these intel towers up and running. Because we, if I had those up and running, we'd be able to fast travel. Garg, welcome. How are you on this fine Final Fantasy evening? Oh, damn it. How do we get over there? Oh, I have to go up and... Okay, I have to go around it. My chocobo will get me there in no time. Guys, some of these chapters are kind of long because of the side questing. If you do it all, I'm not going to do all of it. Right now, I'm just trying to level up a little bit because I couldn't do it between streams. Because I was stuck here without being able to progress forward, without progressing the story forward. Can I go that way? Ah, here we go. This one I'm trying to get to. But next room will progress a lot because I'll grind out a little bit. Alright, there. We got this tower. I don't want to fight. Man, you know what I'm craving right now for no reason because I'm not even that hungry. Moe's. I want to Moe's, uh... The, the, the stack that they do, like where they fold it and stuff, I want one with like corn salsa. And the orange, I forgot what salsa they have. They have that orange with cayenne salsa. Shit's good. Viewpoint synchronized. Do you like Chipotle? I love Chipotle. It's, see, the only thing I don't like about Chipotle though, like I, I get usually like the rice bowl. But it never fills me up. Like I always ask them for extra rice, so it, it, it so it feels like there's more. They always do it. The extra meat they'll charge you though. But I usually do that with the adobo chicken. Uh, it's pretty good. I like Chipotle. I, I do that with the uh, with the vinaigrette. That vinaigrette salsa they have is so good. I love it. All right, let's go to this one. Chocobo! Nimbus! 
I used to work at the Bells in the Plaza outside of downtown Disney. Oh, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Interesting. I like Chipotle. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it's good. It's just, like I said, it just doesn't fill me up. I don't know. I, I might prefer Moe's, though. I, I've been liking Moe's a lot more lately. I used to prefer Chick or Chipotle. It's my hunger talking. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Yeah, let me just follow trail. You know what? That world intel is up there. I might as well. Chipotle. That's why they call it Mexican Grill, because Chipotle is very much not Mexican food. I mean, maybe like it's basic ingredients, but like that's not Mexican food. Places use the term Mexican Grills in Mexican restaurants like way too uh, willy nilly. I see you made it safe and sound. According to the energy readings, the proto relic should be nearby. On free queso day, one year I got a free quest bowl, sat down and drank it. A quest bowl? What is that? I'm not familiar with that. Gotta mess with this proto relic shit again. Yeah, I don't care about that. I just wanna get the towers for fast travel purposes. All right, I'm on the right track now. Okay, so I thought it was like a special quest bowl. If you have accomplished your quest, here is your reward. Semzlet. For the monster owl. That poor owl monster is just standing there doing nothing. Hey! Come on. It's fucking excuse me. Who's got prayer? Got let go from working at Disney during COVID. Yeah, they furloughed a lot of people, I remember. I had a buddy that worked there too and he got let go. They did bring them back on board after like, uh, I don't remember how long, it was a couple months later or something like that. But they, they ended up bringing him back. He actually worked at, uh, I don't know exactly what he did, but he worked at like the, uh, the, the Disney Vacation Club there. I think he like worked reservations or something. I, I don't even know to be honest. But he got let go, and then they called him uh, a while, much later, and asked him if he, he would like to return. I heard from somebody on another stream that was the case, and they didn't rehire anybody. Uh, I don't know about anybody, because like I said, I, I, I got a buddy that did get rehired, but... Um, I, 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 he's not, like, one of the lower, lower level people, so that's probably why. If you were just, like, you know, a level... I hate using that word, but you know what I mean by lower level work, or if you were just like regular person like working in one of the shops or something, yeah, then maybe not, I don't know. I, I don't work for Disney, I don't know how they work. What's with the name Lunchbox? He's clearly not a man or a woman, he is a Lunchbox. I thought that was obvious. I worked at Plaza Restaurant Main Street. My head chef was brought back as janitor. Oh, shit. Maybe that was the only position they had available. Or maybe they'll, like, let him, like, work up to be a, a head chef again. I don't know. Maybe that was their... Because some companies will do that. They'll, like... If they like someone, they'll bring them in at, like, a lower level. 
just like as a as a excuse to bring them back into the fold and then later give them a drive back. Oh, Moogle and Tell. Alright, we're almost there. Let's fast travel here, go here. You're a janitor, Lee? Hey, nothing wrong with being a janitor. A job's a job. We need people in all aspects of employment. Hercules, what's up, man? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Junon stream. So we've been in Junon forever. I like this region, though. There's a lot to do. And the side quests are semi interesting. I'm gonna go mess with the Moogles in a second over there. I saw their little mushroom hut over there. Yeah, I clean restrooms. We've all do that. I remember when I worked at Man. When I, I remember when I worked at Dunkin' Donuts, my first job when I was a teenager. I I don't know how such savages sometimes go to public places and use the restroom. Like I remember once I had to clean the, the bathrooms for like a you know closing shift. So I, I, I'm one of my responsibilities is clean the bathroom one night, and like there was shit on the walls. Like either it was a kid or just someone that ass blasted on the wall. I don't know. But like there were some nasty people out there in public, man, using restrooms. Like some people need to keep their asses closed until they get home. Like if you can't land it in the toilet, just don't do it. Just wait. What happened the other night? Y'all talking about ass and Alfredo sauce? Wait, what? Well, I feel like this happened several times. I don't even remember that conversation. <laughs> that, that's been a topic of conversation many times. I'm happy I have a job. Yeah, that's good, man. You should be. There's actually you know, unemployment rate super low right now. There's jobs everywhere. So it is a, uh, a good time to look for one if you're looking for one. Moogle Intel. See, there's the Moogles. Let's go see what the Moogles want. I'm also happy I have a job. I like my job. See, that's good. It's the most you can ask for is being happy with your job. Because, like, there, there's so many jobs that pay well out there that suck. They're just soul sucking nonsense. I, I think that's more common than not. If you were doing Final Fantasy VII timeline, would you include Kingdom Hearts? No. Because it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Like, when would it take place? Like, there's no... It doesn't make sense. Kingdom Hearts is very much its own thing. Oh, God, I don't know this thing. I gotta round up these dumbasses. I hate you. Where'd I put you? Oh. There you go. Such a dick. There you go. Damn it. Trying to get him into the little tornado. Oh my god. You've been moogled. Oh, come on. You were in the tornado. Yeah, come here, dick.
Tornado time. I like how they're just attacking me. A stranger in their village. I hate the piano game, the return of the gym from Wall Market pull up game. Oh, the gym one. I remember that, the pull ups. That was, yeah, that was rough. The piano. I don't remember a piano. Is that new? Malala! Ha! You've been bamboozled. This one's far away. Is Final Fantasy Dissidia canon at all that you know of? I don't think so. Isn't that kind of like a mishmash of different, like a like a Hyrule Warriors kind of thing, where it's like a mishmash of different eras? I don't know what the actual story. I've never played that game. I I don't know what the story is. Yeah, I remember there's a lot of different characters. In there. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. That's it. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Stupid Mooglets. There's a mini game you could do they show in the demo while also playing a piano and torture. That doesn't sound fun. I really can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. I'd rather have a luxury hand massage. The emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Final Fantasy leads versus their respective villains. The fighting game is it like a Smash Brothers kind of you fighting though? I know it's like a big like rumble style game, right? Yeah, it always looked interesting to me, but I never I never I never played it. Alright. Almost that side quest. At least we can zip around everywhere. Gotta go around. After this last side quest with the bird watching society, we'll, we'll, we'll continue with the main quest line. Now that fast travel is open, we'll actually start making some real deep progress in the damn game. Oh no, flying peacocks. Let me just climb up here, I don't wanna fight. I want to Shadows of the Empire remaster. You know what? I'd be willing to bet that we'll get that eventually because we're getting like old Star Battlefront collection, uh, Dark Forces, uh, we're, we're Republic Commando. We're, we're getting remasters of old Star Wars games. And we know Night Dive Studios is a new remaster on 64 games. So I, I think it's a matter of time before Shadows of the Empire pops back up. That'd be awesome. Like, I'm sure it'll happen at some point. I want a Battlefront Classic remaster. Well, we did get one lunchbox. We, well, it's not a remaster then, you're right. It's the, the are, are you not counting the collection? Because the collection came out, but yeah, technically no, that is not a remaster. Oh, Nataku, by the way, if you're here, uh, I was talking about this earlier. Uh, we're gonna finish Vice City Stories Wednesday. And um, Hunter is going to re replace that. So we'll move on to Hunter right after Vice City Stories is beaten. I figured you would like to know. If we could get a Dirge of Cerberus in this remake, it would be absolutely incredible. Oh my god. That would look absolutely beautiful. 
Not to mention the gameplay would be a bit refined. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Uh, I really wasn't trying to fight these guys. Rare fleet wing variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Fleet wings are also known as the stalkers of the sky. Keep it together. Get the monster! So rapidly that the unsuspecting prey has no time to react. Let alone come back. To that. What? Oh shit, Bear's almost down. I didn't notice. Damn, he's strong. I'm not gonna make him time. I hate these airborne enemies. Stardust Ray! Such a good move. Yeah, I'm not gonna have time to kill these. Maybe I will. It's possible. Oh no! What do I do? This ends here. Can't see. Damn, there's three of them too, man. I only have 24 seconds left. Just warming up. So close. Keep it together. Ah. I might barely. I might have barely made it. Five seconds left. Good lord. I didn't get all the check marks, but still. Yuffie's at 19 and Dirge Service. How old is she in this? I have no idea. Who can ever, whoever knows the anime characters? You have like grizzled ex veteran soldiers that have fought like in these horrible wars. And then they're like 14 year old girls with enormous breasts. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> with anime characters, you never know. You never know. I gotta get up here, man. Is this is this the way? This is the way. I'm so confused about this game. Is Zach and Aerith alive? I mean, Aerith's alive right now for sure. And Zach, I it it, it implies he is. There's still a lot of mysteries in the game that haven't been um, expanded upon yet. See, I cut through here. I need to stop at the end and rest. Last side quest, then we'll, we'll, we'll gun through main questing again. Our latest newsletter. Okay, everyone. Take a nap on the bench. Watching Red ride a chocobo is hilarious. I love it. He's just like a little saber tooth tiger friend riding a bird. See, I think I gotta take this road out of town. Yeah, it's that way.
Da, 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 da. But I'm gonna have to roast in this chapter. Or I'm sorry, Dynamo. Max Dynamo. The Condor Watching Society's request. Oh, ho, care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. Did he call me he young lady? Do. Oh, I thought he was so, talking to Cloud. What are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the great condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger I would prey. never Let's think that this guy's a point of a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts He's about He's the true final birds. boss. I'm quite proud of it. Except for all what? Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we she should literally. No, let's wait a little longer, man. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Speaking of confusing, well, my ass was confused about Advent Children. Do I don't remember the details awesome. of that movie. I still have the Blu-ray, but I don't remember the details. It's a grand. I gotta rewatch it again. Makes its nest in a small island just a stone's throw from here. I saw the bird. My life I know exactly I where alive. it is. He pointed at it. Believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Nick seemed like Cloud except for other brothers in some way. Maybe like brothers in arms is what they meant. I don't them know. Me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for. Because they're definitely not biological brothers. And flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. Oh, damn. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. Found an indie developer game based on PT, but you're seeing things through a body cam. Oh, that's cool. Fractured Mind. Char, is that a finished game? Is that like a Steam game? And it's finished? That sounds cool, though. Fucking got it all the way over there. Can I just jump? I just want to fly. I can fly! Oh, damn. Might as well be flying, right? Look at that. <laughs> this remake definitely showed more emotion in Sephiroth when he found out, yeah. Well, I mean, you can also convey more emotion than you can, like... Don't get me wrong, the original was classic, but, like, graphically... You convey so much more emotion now. Like what characters facial expressions versus back then where everyone looked like little Playmobil toys. And you just had to read everything. Oh yeah, there was like barely any voice acting too, yeah. Now games are like a very serious like storytelling medium. Before they were also, but like look where technology's gone. There's a brief moan of Tim Candle that you can hear him briefly crying before he snaps. Yeah, see, and those kind of things, you can't really do that on, like, back in the day on, like, PS1 Final Fantasy VII. They didn't, they weren't, they weren't doing things like that. God, I still remember the first, and I've talked about this before, and I'm sure a lot of you had the same experience I did, but the first, what was, let me ask you guys a question. What's the first game... You guys out there have experience that made you feel like you were playing something more than a game like you were playing a, a, a movie an experience like just some 
something that like okay this is not just a game like this is like a work of art because I, I i specifically remember the first time i felt that feeling was uh metal gear solid on ps1 i remember playing that for the very first time just thinking like wow like this is like a dramatic like action movie like this is good storytelling it would be an understatement there's been good storytelling before, but man, that that's the first time I got that feeling of like, this is something truly special. Like this is a work of art. And you know, there's fun games before like Zelda's and Mega Man's, but they, they always felt like video games. Metal Gear to me, like that felt like a fucking experience. And I, I like, man, I, 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 none of my other friends were fans either. Like they didn't really care about that game. But I was the one that was always trying to, like, push it on people. Like, you have to play this game. You need to play it. Chrono Cross? See, I never... I, I still don't play Chrono Cross. I gotta stream Chrono Cross sometime. I played Chrono Trigger and I really liked it. Oh my gosh, yeah, MGS went incredible first time. MGS is up there, but The Last of Us is my favorite. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta beat that sometime, too. That I'll probably just do on my own. I won't stream it because, like, I don't know. Like, Last of Us one too. There'll, there'll be there'll be too many people bitching and fighting each other in the chat about it. <laughs> it's fine. We don't need to stream it. But I do want to want to actually catch up on that. This the energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. We got a little hat. Zukadin was an amazing story. I've never played. That's an RPG, right? I never played it. When Ark Thompson unloaded his 20th clip on the BLW, I knew the game was special. It was art. I agree with you on that statement. As much as people, I've I've always been a hardcore Resident Evil Survivor defender, and I always will be. I love Resident Evil Survivor. <laughs> But seriously, Metal Gear, like, oh, God, just everything about it. Like, the emotion in that game. Like, when, when, I remember, like, you get watery-eyed playing that game, man. Like, when Sniper Wolf is dying, and you're like, oh, my God, like, it's so tragic. Like, you feel it. And then, um, Fox, whenever you're, like, aiming the rocket at him, you try to shoot, he's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh man, you like Sakurai still fighting Metal Gear Rex? Like that, the whole game, the whole game is just perfection. It couldn't be better. I don't even like the Twin Snakes remake as anywhere near as much. Like it doesn't have the same emotional impact as uh, the PS1 one game did. Here he is. With this girl with a loud ass theme. Here you are. Oh man, I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, I'm gonna take her hat and throw it off the mountain. Hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. The speech from Gray Fox being crushed made me tear eyed. Yeah. Well, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. It's so like I am a shadow Arguably existing in a world of light. Your feet, mister. Soon. Soon. I came all the way out to it's like I can't do it. Fuck! Even that we exist. Then Liquid's being zero an asshole clients, the whole time. Zero I mean, oh man, I want to play that one game one. now. Uh, Maybe I'll do the Master Collection again at some point, because I did stream Metal Gear Solid 1. But I need to get that Master Collection. They have bankruptcy in the world of... Uh, oh, Final what? Fantasy? Shut well, they got like chapter 7 or 13. Indeed. <laughs> Aww, are you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I Man, I wish my dog could talk. I would love a, like a strong like animal companion that could just talk like normal. <laughs> I like how it growls and everything. She belongs in the early 2000s anime, I know. Kitty Yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. 
And if we don't get one really soon, when they replaced David Hayter, I was PR pretty pissed. Yeah, but oddly enough, it makes sense story-wise because to work of the the, the plot city. twist in the game. Which I mean, the game's old already, but you get the whole plot twist where you're, you're not. It's not Snake you're playing as. So that that's why they did it. I don't know if that's the business reason why. Maybe they just wanted a big star, but uh, story-wise, that that's why. Although I think there are parts sure where it's actually has at the near the beginning where it's actually big boss and it's 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 not David Vader. So I I don't know, but I interpret it story-wise like because you're not Snake. Yeah, he was in Snake, but I do think when it's actually Big Boss in the game, it's still not David Hayter though. <laughs> so that that's that's definitely an oversight there. The fact that you're 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 actually like a random character that kind of explains a plot hole in Metal Gear. Uh, in um, which one was it? When you kill the fake Big Boss, that's the first Metal Gear game. And then Big Boss comes back again, like that explains that like little plot hole. I think it's funny how like they have like Robo Big Boss in Metal Gear 2. What is going on with this music? La 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 la, those are the lyrics. All right, let's do this. Ooh, Max he was the traitor, Big Boss. Yeah, he was. Uh, ah, I forgot what they called him. He was like the 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 Big Boss body double in. Uh, Cause you know how they mentioned how Big Boss survived the events of Metal Gear Solid One, like after you like, not Metal Gear Solid One, Metal Gear One, but it, it turned out that it was it was the body double that Extinct killed, which is the guy from Phantom Pain. So that 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 was like that whole thing was basically an explanation for the NES game. So I mean, there's a lot more detail to it, but that that's the uh, Reader's Digest version. He was the one plastic everyone wanted. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was vacuum sealed. Like, a, like in a Ziploc bag, like a sandwich. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the one that Snake sets on fire with, like, a spray can. I think that's how it played out. I don't remember. I love Metal Gear. I've been wanting to do Metal Gear Timeline forever. I just need to get around to it. And the games will take me forever to record. There's so many. And you know I'll cover the non-canon shit, too, like Acid. And I've never played those. It's canon, if you believe. Defeat the fiends. Jelly. Oh my god, does that not look like... Oh, what was that character's name? Um... Seth Rogen played him in that, mon that 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 DreamWorks movie with the monsters. Anyone know what I'm talking about? What's it? That, what's that movie? Seth Rogen played the little blue ball blob monster. Monsters vs. Aliens, I think it was, it was called. That's what these are, the plans. Don't overdo it. Have you watched the Metal Gear Awesome series? Metal Gear Awesome. What is that? Is that a YouTube thing? I, I don't know what that is. I think Kojima just wants to make movies. Uh, they have, well, I don't know. I don't think the Metal Gear Solid movie is happening. It's still like on an indefinite, like, hold. Cause like, it's in development, but uh, with Oscar Isaac is safe. But that, they announced that years ago. I don't think that movie's gonna end up being made. I really don't. You guys saw the Metal Gear Master Collection Volume 2 is uh, heavily being into that. Pretty much official. They pretty much hinted at its existence. Which means that Metal Gear Solid 4 is finally coming out of the chains of the PS3. 
it's a spoof of Metal Gear by Ego Raptor. It's so old. Oh, man. Yeah, I haven't heard that name in years. Is that dude still around? Is he still doing this thing on YouTube? I remember he did some Castlevania stuff I liked in live like ages ago. Yeah, I played Binary Domain 3. Yeah, I do. I have it on PS3. I think it was a free game on Plus one year. With the success of video game movies these days, it might have a chance. I, I think it would make a better TV series. Like a, like a Paramount Plus show or something. I, I think, in my opinion, most video games, I think, work better as a series. You, you just, there's more time to tell a story versus a two-hour movie, you know? Like, there, there's a lot. Like, imagine a Metal Gear movie, right? Or imagine a Metal Gear series. You can have a whole episode just dedicated, like, a whole episode being the backstory of, like, Sniper Girl. And she's got a, a really tragic backstory. And then that'll make more of an impact when she actually shows up in, in like, the modern day the part of the show. Or the present era of the show, you know? Like they, I, I think it'd be a better show than a movie. I, I kind of wish that they did that instead. I, I'm not particularly a big fan anymore of video games being movies, because they, they've done some, so much of a better job of uh, games being told in it. See, like, Twisted Metal's a really good example of a game that there's, like, virtually no real deep story besides, like, some character endings and a basic uh, reason for the fighting. But they made a whole series out of it. It was really good with well-developed characters. So, like, I, I would like to see that with Mortal Kombat over a movie. I, I think Mortal Kombat would have worked better as a series. Have a whole episode about the Queen Quay, another one about Special Forces, another one about, like, Outworld and Melina and Katana. Like, there's, there's so much. There's so much you can do before you bring them all together in a tournament. But, yeah, the, I, the Hollywood, they want a quick buck, throw a two-hour movie in there and call it a day. You know, I, I just, I, it just, it works better when you have more time to tell a story. I saw you take that hit, you know. Who's excited for the new Alien movie? Yeah, Romulus looks good. And they're making the Alien series, too, which I don't know how it's going to tie into that if it does. I like that Alien Romulus goes back to basics. Like, it's just people running away from aliens trying to kill them. Like, I like that they're ignoring Prometheus and uh, Covenant. Because those are good movies, but I don't like how they try to explain the aliens. Like, they, we don't need that. That takes away the fear factor. It's so much scarier when it's mysterious. We don't need to know that. You can make it a series like Mortal Kombat Legacy, yeah. Get Mortal Kombat Legacy, like, I don't know, it's kind of low budget, which I get, but... Have, like, a really high budget series, like, on one of these streaming services? Man. And not just that, like, we're getting, like, a renaissance of, like, animated shows. We've had Castlevania, Devil May Cry, Tomb Raiders coming. We're getting video games. Like, Netflix is quickly becoming the home of animated video game adaptations, and I like that. You got Halo over at Paramount, uh, and, uh, Knuckles. Knuckles is getting a series, uh, next month. What else do we have that are video games? God of War? Is, God of War is a movie, right? Isn't it an Amazon movie, or is it a series? I thought it was a movie. Again, I, I, that'd be a better series. My god, there's so many of these little assholes. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> there we go. When I first watched Marithius, I had no idea it was part of the Alien series. Yeah, they... they 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 didn't really market it as an alien movie, but it, a lot of fans just kind of knew like it was gonna lead to it. Also, the engineers and space jockeys like I didn't want to know anything about them. There's so much mysterious, more mysterious when you don't know anything. Like 
just find their ship in the original alien, yet giant thing is in it. And like, what the fuck is that? That's scary. But now we know their whole history. Like, it's not scary no more. Although, I will say this, I am a fan of the Predators using the Xenomorphs as a, a training tool. 100% canon in my book. I love it. I accept that. But they didn't create them. They just used them. That's my head cannon. My head cannon slash official cannon. I didn't realize I had my uh, limit. Oh shit. White moose? Is that, like, is that what you ordered at Cheesecake Factory? Exciting the idea they're bringing back the alien from the first movie, supposedly. Oh, is that? I haven't looked into the details. Is that what they're supposed to be doing? Wait, hold on. The one that got blown out the airlock? Like, what? What? He was just floating around space and just landed on another ship? What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> I won't let this stop with the eye. Is doing nothing but shouting, she's annoying. Oh no. I didn't realize Barrett was down. Wait, wait, I got it. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I gotta fix this. The music is so goofy. It's not serious at all. <laughs> la 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 la. Wow. On it. I feel like a little girl in cosplay. This is amazing. Oh, it's oh man, no, I gotta revive Barry. <laughs> Hell no, I'm staying over here, man. Things are deadly. I don't want to waste items here on these minions. So I gotta do something. This is rough. You love that song, are you? I hate it. It's stupid. We all got gobbled up! Destroy them! Thank Bitch. You. Alright, that one's dead. Alright, now I can revive someone here. Barret. And we're back. Alright, here we go. This song is the one from Altair's Chronicles, debatable. Imagine listening to this one through the whole game. I it might be worse. I'm doing like no damage. Go away, man. Look at the air throwing little balls over there. It's not doing a damn thing. Oh, 
almost dead. Gotta keep this fucker away from me. It's almost staggered too. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. The great thing for the two dollars. This music drives me insane. Yeah. Let's see if Obama says. It. Let's see if Obama agrees. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what this music will be from. Like, very much 2000 anime. Early 2000s, that's right. I've got something just for you, No. Cure. A little pick me up. Let's do this. Oh, this is gonna burn. So close. Kiss my that's over. Man. Now I know why I wasn't getting any customers. Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Please close up shop. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Merc. I hate you. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <sighs> Hope he bites her. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Uh, it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Did the notification ever come up? What happened to that Merc? She moved on. Let's see if I can manually do it. Bummer. Well, went to high school together? She went to high school together. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rondo was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you this didn't This music say is anything. driving me insane. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. Yeah, uh, Obama. Well, Obama work. <laughs> you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Obama didn't like this music either. Anyone here that's overly political, if you heard Obama, you're like, I hate Obama. Relax. It's all fun and games. <laughs> the real Obama is not super chatting. The real Obama is not uh, saying ridiculous things on stream. You don't remember? It's Pedro Montana? Pedro Montana? Do I know a Pedro? Are you talking to me or someone else in chat? Pedro Montana? Did you make that name up? I'm so confused. You can make Obama say funny things, chat. Technically true, yes. Um, did I finish that side quest? No, I'm just trolling you. Yeah, I was about to say, well, no, because people have come here before. Like, randomly, like, hey, I know you. And then they'll blow my mind, like, oh, shit, it is you. I was going to say, like, Pedro Montana sounds like a very made-up name. I did not go to high school with a Pedro Montana. I don't even think I knew a Pedro. to the hunting spot. There's a cow. Cheeseburger. Can you get Jeff Goldblum and stuff? Uh, I didn't see Jeff Goldblum on the list. You know which one I want really bad is Optimus Prime. There's an Optimus Prime one, but you gotta pay for their monthly premium membership to get him. 
and it's $24 a month. My ass is not doing that. I'm using the free ones. <laughs> the AI presidents are free. Sure. Get Arnold? Oh, I wish. Uh, the, I didn't see him on the list either, but if they did, you know it would be one of the premium ones you have to pay for. They would never do an Arnold one for free. Never. Someone needs to like scan his voice and it's like AI for him. Um Chocobo! Chocobo! Alright, let's get the scent. Smell that cow shit. I hate this song. What that the which song, Hercules? Are you talking about the one with the, the, the girl? The 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 la 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 la. You might be a couple minutes behind. <sighs> I'm so tired of doing this like chocobo like sensing. Oh, having Super Arnold say it in Super Chat. I wish. That'd be freaking epic. What am I supposed to be sensing? Like it shows you this general area, but right here. There. Swear. I wonder if that's how Wolverine sees like his scent. Little yellow glowing orb. Follow the trail of ass. Ass. A regular ass cow fighting a, a magical Final Fantasy monster. Ignilisk. I went to college with James Earl Jones' son, Luke Skywalker. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's finish here. You have the school at the Jedi Temple of the Arts. No joke, I would become best friends with him just for the sole purpose of meeting his dad. <laughs> it might sound messed up, but I mean, come on, man, it's Darth Vader. Oh shit, I need to heal. No! <laughs> Oh no, it's like the cow. The Chocobo could track him. Poor, poor Chocobo. Or Chocobo. Poor, poor cow. Not Chocobo. That poor cow bit. Cows suck, like in general, like they have no self-defense skills whatsoever. <laughs> they just walk around moo moo all day. Like some, imagine some dragon comes up, what are they gonna do? I guess they use their methane powers, don't they have like super farts? Like their their asses are like warming up the planet. It's 
to it. Um, I should, I should probably heal. Let's go. Yeah. Let's use, uh... I don't want to use my mist potions, though. I don't want to use any of my stuff. Damn it. I keep forgetting to do this. Like, when I use Cure. I keep forgetting to write and use Cura. See how this goes with Leroy Jenkins it. Why is there Chocobo Black? That's Bell. That's my special Chocobo. She could climb. The Mystic Dragon. Try to survive so I can use cure. Fuck. I don't have enough MP. Damn it, this sucks. I'm, I'm gonna have to use my potions. I'm gonna have to. Miss Potion. Gives a little something. Oh, Red 13's down. I didn't even notice. Oh, crap. I, I came woefully unprepared. Woefully. You okay? Should have gone and stopped in a bench. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna use a, a ether. Bear it, so I, I, I get the key again. He's gonna be the key. I had to use it. I didn't want to, but I had to. Cloud's down. We're just gonna have to manage without cloud. Bear it around 13 will handle it. Get staggered to there. Send for two dollars, man. There are two demons out. Uh. Got thirteen. Yes! I want to hear Obama say this. There are terrible demons out. <laughs> oh, you should use the comma. So there are terrible demons out. Fuck it up, fuck it up. That's what happens when you fight a monster unprepared. I could probably finish them off if I brought Cloud back. Here, Cloud. Let's, let's bring Cloud back for a little bit. We still got a job to do this time. Yeah. 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 
attacks weren't doing anything. Do that. Maximum Fury! I'm gonna fuck him up. Here we go. He's done. I'm gonna kill him. It's almost done. So close, so close. Almost staggered, almost staggered. Oh, uh, limit break. It's dead. Boom. Oh, yeah, look at that level up. What do we do now? We celebrate. <clears throat> Love the content. Do you have an estimated time when the next episode of rebooted Resident Evil until Resident Evil? Um, Resident Evil Mega Man are returning next month. Oh, wait, what? Choose an item to take? Bovine meat? I mean, I'm going to take the bovine meat for the, the eagle. But yeah, uh, both Resident Evil Mega Man. That's, that's, uh, I have that on the docket for April. After my uh, Mega Man uh, Battle and Chase review. Hunks of bovine meat. Poor, poor cow. The cow was not saved. Look at that. I'm in such bad shape. Look at my health. I feel like I'm playing a Resident Evil game and I'm running around without first aid. Without a first aid spray. Alright. Let's deliver that to the condor. You're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. Yelp yeah, wasn't too much trouble. I gotta fight with a mystic there. dragon, old man. Probably watch all these timelines a few times each. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we gotta. The, the next ones are gonna be really fun. This is quite the cut of me. Well, I don't know. The, the, the next one's gonna be Operation Raccoon City and parts of the Outbreak, and I'm, I'm making a canon version of it. Basically, the question will be answered is. How could Operation Accuracy be canon? That's what I'll be answering. Gotta say, it's kind of nice for the two bucks. Looking up and seeing a blue sky. <laughs> Obama Dragon Ball. That's in for sure. <laughs> Though at least with the steel sky, you know your limits. Out he is not gonna be able to pronounce that. <laughs> maybe. I kind of get what Eric was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look. I wonder if we would have preferred the monster meat. Sight. I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Oh. Oh. Wait, I we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Come here. Say <laughs> What did he say? <laughs> that so that so AI Obama did not know how to pronounce so. that. I could barely hold my camera and that's hilarious really couldn't tell from a shot like this telling he's having a seizure oh. <laughs> well I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad it's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating you never know what to expect well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss? I'd like you to have this, as a souvenir. <laughs> Obtained nice warding materia. There, we got all these little side quests complete. Leveled up a decent amount. Yeah, look, I did all the side quests here. Five out of five. Now we can finally uh, progress with the main, the main stuff. Let's do it. I am gonna. Where's the end? Definitely gonna go stop at the end. Do you have a contribution to Obama reading stuff today? 
Let me change it to someone else here. Uh, I want to change it to Optimus Prime so bad. Won't let me. Connie, movie guy? Who is movie guy? There's a GLaDOS one from... Who's GLaDOS from Portal? Changed again. I like the Ghostface one, but it doesn't really sound like Ghostface. It just kind of sounds like someone uh, just using a voice changer, but like you would never tell like that it's specifically Ghostface. I think the pirate's still my favorite one now. The pirate's awesome. Brittle houses in the city. Isn't Priscilla just adorable? Boy? All right. So they don't have comics. Hey Someone's there. complaining they don't have comics. Meant your folios. Give me some toast. Right. Oh, not cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch, delicious. Where did I click on? Hold on a second. They have a Morgan Freeman one too, but I tried it and it didn't sound like him. Like it could have been anyone that was trying to be like a sound alike. I'll click and save here. Uh there we go. All right, what do we have? Barrett got his red thirteen. Oh, you feel being our party already? It's taking forever to join. Come back soon. All right, stay at the end and then main quest. Where does this end? Oh, it's over here. Rest hey, spot. Hey, Not in, it's just rest spot. I love how you have like these 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 wounds, these gaping open wounds on your body from a mystic dragon clawing at you. And you just need to sit on a bench and you're you're good, man. No need to fret after that. Powerful ass benches. Dolphin. It's crazy how smart oh. dolphins are. Hey, you guys. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. Sit on a hemorrhoid pad on a broken bench? It's awful. That? that booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. Yeah, it sounds so pretty dangerous. Stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey. What's crazy is how rapey dolphins are. It's really? true. I was at SeaWorld once, sure a long time ago. And I specifically, this is seared into my memory. I, I thought it was hilarious. Okay, There's a, promise. you go on the bottom part and you can see the tank mm -hmm. from the bottom. So you're Never looking at all the before? dolphins swimming around. My Up top, like people are throwing food at them, but you can go to a lower level oh, and see that inside gotcha. of the tank. And they're all swimming around. Uh, one of the dolphins, awesome. definitely his, his, his parts came out in full. Gloriously. He, he, he was loud and proud showing off his stuff. 
and he went up to another dolphin and started humping it. Like, the other dolphin's trying to swim away, and he's behind him just going at it. And I was like, oh, and then one of the SeaWorld employees made a comment <laughs> that the, all the dolphins in that tank were boys. And I was like, oh, damn. Like, so he was definitely attacking his friends with uh, with his, uh, his, his wiener, <laughs> his dolphin parts. You will not be able to return to Under Junon for some time. Yeah, it was nuts. That dolphin was very uh, loud and proud. He, he, he was <laughs> a man that knew what he wanted, I guess. Felt the swim of dolphins in Discovery Co. was okay. You know, I've been interested in going there. Isn't it, like, crazy expensive? I've never really looked into it. I did a dolphin thing in the Bahamas. But it was more so... I didn't want to swim with them because it was, like, triple the price. Uh, we, we did a thing where you just, like, go in the lagoon and they come up and, like, you can, like, hold them and they take a picture and they, like, kiss your face and stuff. It was cool, but it was just, like, you touch it for a little bit and then take a photo. Steer Mr. Dolphin, that's his name, into the beach balls he loves so much to get him excited and speed up. Okay. Come on, Dolphin. I am now Aquaman. Dolphin going 60 miles an hour? They got playing Wave Race. Wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Am I racing this other dolphin? Is that what's going on? Dolphins probably have so much fun just fucking around all day. <laughs> jumping in and out of the water. Oh! Mr. Dolphin. You messed up. Oh man, I'm not gonna make it. That damn obstacle. It messed me up, man. All right, let's go. Come on. Now I'm gonna do it for real. That was a practice run. You know what? This race is better than Aquaman Battle for Atlantis on GameCube. <laughs> By far. Gotta do the sharp turns. Oh, damn it, again? Man, you have to do like a perfect run. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. Oh, no, I didn't know I had to press the button. I wasn't looking, wait. Okay. Almost messed up. I messed this up my first time and thought I had to hold down R2. Turns out it's slowing me down. Yeah, it's for sharp turns. I read it on the little thing there. No, I don't want to try again. Wait, do I have to? Reach the control room. Is it because I didn't press the button, the right buttons? Yeah, I think it's I fucked up the buttons. Man. Alright, let me not hit that, that obstacle again. 
is it I don't think there's a way to speed the dolphin up then, right? Yeah, just R2 is the only button there. But it's literally just the drift. Tokyo drift. Or the Junon drift here. I'm gonna try my best not to hit that buoy again. Ah, ah. There it is, there it is. That evil buoy. Oh good, I, I think I missed it that time. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, see, I missed that first button. <laughs> you know, they have wind magic. Can't they just, like, use wind magic and, like, float them up there real quick? I mean, logically speaking... Makes sense of the world of uh, Final Fantasy Science. My god, how long is that going to take to lower? Dolphin's very helpful. I want him in my party. <laughs> Damn, but the way to bear it alone is gonna sink that boat. Holy shit. Why do they keep calling Red 13 a dog? He's clearly more of a cat like thing. He's like a saber tooth tiger. He's not a dog. He's my cat. Technically. My Mohawk cat. fight's coming in. I can smell it. Damn, I'm hungry. We're talking about Chipotle over here. Now I want Chipotle or Moe's. Not open no more, though. At, the at this time. We got cutscene graphics. Damn, look how good that looks. Whew. He wants pineapple pizza. That's not pizza, though. You can't put the word pizza in there. Disgusting. I could fight all the Shinner troops. There you go, we gotta leave from Tekken.
Fine, Uncle made me some meatloaf. Nice. No! Meatloaf! Them visuals, they look amazing. I were past the days of like, remember back in like PS2, PS3 days, whenever you had these amazing cutscenes and then the gameplay looked like ass? Like, we're way past those days. Now you can make both look amazing. Some, in all honesty, in some games, sometimes the actual game looks better than the cutscene, depending on the game. Let's move. I wonder if I can still go back to the grasslands after this. Like, I'll, I, I want to be able to just travel anywhere. Be my secondary character, the main for me is Horan. Yeah, I, I've always liked using Kazuya. I think he's such a cool character. But, like, I, I've been really becoming a, a fan of using King. And I'm usually not, like, a wrestling-type character. Like, in fighting games, I usually don't like the wrestling-type characters. But King is such a cool character. Like, I've really, like, gotten used to using him. Wow. Less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Vid Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez want to remind you the mind-blowing graphics for their first and furious. Oh, their fast and furious game. What was it called? Supercharged? There, there was one. I have one on 360. On my modded X bike, I think it was like supercharged or something. It's really shit too. Terrence, welcome. Saw it. Got from work. Saw that you're live. My night is saved. Your content extremely therapeutic for me. Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad to have you here. Yeah, we're still on for a little bit more. Um, been uh, making our way through the Junon region here in Final Fantasy Remake. The highway. Whoa. Shimmer's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced. My God, look how cool that looks. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with float. Just looks amazing. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Am I not supposed to be over here? Because I kind of want to go over there and just start fighting. Man, I want to go mess some people up. Well, saw me to go down. We cannot let Midgar win. Where am I going? Enter Junon proper to find the robed individuals and procure shit. Okay. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm going backwards now. It's like clean version of a steampunk plane, yeah. Just graphically, the thing looks really good. Oh. Yeah, I'm going backwards. Maybe not. Yeah, no, I'm going backwards. Oh, got to turn around. These are all locations I want to see fully realized as a kid. It made me tear up. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, how, like... Because, again, you play these games when you're a kid, like, with these limited-ass graphics from back in the day, but, like, they had to work with the limitations of the time, and now, like... This. It's why I love, like, Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. Just the fact that... And 4, actually. But more so 2 and 3 they are more of graphical jumps, but just the fact that, like, the, they look the way they do now, it's amazing. And I like that this game still, like, improves the gameplay and still retains the feel of Final Fantasy VII. Because that, that's, 
important. Like, you want a game remade and updated, but it still has to have the spirit of the original. And this very much does. It's this way. That's the ticket, I tell you. Whoa, look at that thing. I want to fly that. go I feel like I haven't gotten a new sword in a while no we'll leave them be for now <clears throat> enter An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru. Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. I don't get why these troops can't arrest Cloud's gang right away. Yeah, well, that Rufus did say let them be. I'm assuming he's talking about them. Maybe he's not worried about it. Black robes people. Were they in the original Final Fantasy VII? To the chase, Mr. President. I don't remember that either. Like the ones that are just moping around like zombies. Your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out. Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. They were in but the game? I don't even remember that. I gotta replay the original the sometime. Equation. It's been so long since I played through that game. Is required. <laughs> you always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land. <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. This guy Glenn is new and appeared in the mobile game Ever Crisis. Really, I don't even know about that game. But more if it's mobile game, I would not. Right, beget anger. Desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing is for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. That looks disheveled. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Wasted, Mr. President. I thought a revolver ocelot. At the end credits, Metal Gear's like, Mr. President. <laughs> I Miss First Soldier was an amazing Battle Royale, but limited to mobile only. Yeah, I never got into Battle Royale games. I don't think that game lasted too long, did they? They shut it down pretty quick from what I remember reading. 
Check each tag carefully. I feel like I'm on a, a freaking shield helicarrier. Man, I really hope that Marvel 1943 game is not live service garbage. So far, there's no indication that it is, but they haven't said it isn't either. Like, let's stop doing the whole superhero live service thing. No one wants that. The Viceroy says Lord Sidious said nothing about the Jedi. I love the Nemodians. Newt's gun ray. It's a key military outpost with its own offshore reactor. A critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and sea ports. Who's developing Marvel 1943? Um, you know what? I, I don't know. Let me look it up. I know it's like Amy, at, what, Amy Anig or whatever, the... the Lady responsible for Uncharted? I don't know. Um, uh, right. let me see. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Developer is Skydance New Media. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Amy Hennig is the producer and writer. Well, along with other people. Skydance, what else have they done? Parade begins, but use this time wisely. Practice your technique. Let's see, Skydance New Media Games. Let's see what they've done. Apparently, they've also teamed up for a new Star Wars project. I'm on their website, but that's not revealed yet. Um, animation film. Oh, I, Skydance. I've seen them on, like, movie logos. I guess they have a game division now that they're working on stuff. Those Isn't Skydance all with Invincible? Oh. Yeah, I, I know Skydance is like a, a multimedia, like, studio. But I guess, yeah, I guess they're they're putting a lot of investment in their video game. It's like what back then, like, Disney. I remember Disney had Disney Interactive at one point. It's kind of like that, I think. What? Disney Interactive had some good games, though. Are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? They developed the Trog reboot. Hmm. That was good. Hell, I'm not saying we killed the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. <laughs> First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud Spiker Buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade. No. Co-written by Sweet Baby. Ain't who cares? <laughs> I already know people are gonna be complaining because there's a black soldier that they team up with. We join the parade. In the game, from the looks of it. But here's the thing. It's very much inspired by this comic called Captain America Black Panther, Seriously? Flags of Our Fathers. And that black soldier is very much from that story. He's an American soldier. But people that don't know that are still going to complain about it. Oh, it's smoke, it's a black soldier. Yeah, he's from the comic. Now hold up. Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. True enough. I love that Black Panther is the uh, Ezekiel right. from Walking Dead. I gotta go find That's so you. cool. There were black soldiers in World War II. Oh, I know. But it, that's not going to stop some internet uh, oh, YouTube channels, I will say, so from making video after this video way? talking yeah. about wokeness. It'll happen. Just wait. It'll happen. It doesn't matter. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony will be starting soon. Now we're talking. Oh, they're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. Just like Death Star when they uh, dress up in the Stormtrooper outfits. Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. 
Though they did usually serve in combat units. There were plenty of black combat units. Especially if you look at like the Tuskegee Airmen. There were plenty of them in World War II. Uh, Cloud, what do you think you're doing? Whoops. Look, Cloud's being a creeper. What happens if, if you get too there, close? Keep watch. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. Come on, Cloud. You really need to be this close? <laughs> Do they keep saying stuff? I want to see what happens. Scram! Occupied! Uh, Cloud, what do you think <laughs> you're doing? Alright, Cloud, that's enough. That's enough harassment. There's going to be a lot of evil eyes and crying and thumbnails when it comes to channels that cover woke. Oh my god. Serix, you nailed it. They always have... I swear they all have the same thumbnail designer. No originality whatsoever. You're right. That's hilarious. It's true. They all do the same thing. Easy clicks, though. That's what it's all about in the end. What did I just collect? A survival vest. I'm not gonna smell this right now. I'll do it off stream. It doesn't let you. I tried for. <laughs> you tried 15 minutes of that? For science, of course, of course. Always for science. This game is so good. Hands up. It's not time messing around. I could have killed them. Well. Cloud's got no sense of humor whatsoever. Up. Head to starboard Junon when you're ready. Better hurry. You don't want to be the reason your team is disqualified. Hold it. I want to kill this guy. How important today this guy's final boss. Is. Do you mug it? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything, I feel another mini game coming in. I'll feed your ass to a behemoth. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> the commander is waiting! Sir! Yep, minigame. Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up, and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? Until I summon Ifrit. Cloud Air, the Tifa joining the G.I. Joe unit? Yeah, apparently. Well, these bad guys are more like Cobra. Oh, I remember this. Wait, red, tap the button. Yellow, repeatedly tap the button. Teal, hold the button. Fuck, am I gonna remember that? I 
I'm not gonna remember that. Hey. I'm gonna fuck up. Something's gonna go wrong. This is like when he was doing the uh the, that performance. Okay, it did say hold. Rapid tap. Impressive. This guy is cool. So goofy. I didn't get any bads. Practice once more, no. There we go. I must say, you've impressed me. It serves as a sterling example to the others, man. Check out a movie called Stripes. It's got Bill Murray and Harold Ramis and John Candy. Congratulations. You it's a funny you movie in this section. Gives me that vibe. I've heard of that movie. I've never seen it though. Oh, shit. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. I love all the dramatic, like, military hand movements. We're promoted. God, I mean, now you actually gotta assemble people? Come on. Was this in the original game? You having to do all this? I feel like this is filler. As parade captain, it falls to you to locate the seven infantry's disparate units and assemble your drill team. When you have found at least five units, you can fine tune your performance line up with L2. Note that certain units unlock different formations. Okay. So I guess they just grab people. Boy, that was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get? I feel like there's better ways to do all this. Parade one, but the presidential commendation room. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> this wasn't the original game? Man, it's really been a long time since I played then. I don't remember any of this shit. I always remember the first part of the game really well, and then, like, the first disc, and then after that, it's, it's, it's fuzzy. Assemble your team for the best performance. Yeah, it's OG. Ten what loose your hunger for power. Yeah, just remember, Midgar, Seventh Infantry. Anyone with one of these. Wasn't there black soldiers on both sides during the Civil War? Yeah, I know the Civil War. There, a, a lot of them. Um, a lot of them in the Civil War. There were situations where they were freed slaves, and then like the South was using a lot of them, like promising freedom and stuff. But there was, there was um. I, I don't know numbers though, but there there were on both sides, but it wasn't always there wanting to do it, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah, especially I don't know if you did the routine perfect. I don't think I did it perfect. That's my destination. Right. Are you seventh infantry? They said it's the guys with the red, uh, with the red, like we have, right? With the red arm pad. Let's see this person. Am I supposed to go up and talk to them? It's ridiculous. Elite, welcome back. Look at the size of that. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. What? We're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh. Um, I, <laughs> uh, captain. Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, yes sir. You look so stupid. When they march like that with their arms. A new unit has joined your drill team. Okay. So all these jackasses are hanging around here. Okay. Sir, welcome back, sir. Keep marching. Welcome back, sir. I like this. Right. Every Ooh, perfect timing, Captain. Would you mind taking the picture so I can get in there? It's been raining wind advisory today? No, Whenever don't get blown you're away. Ready, sir. Oh, they moved. Thanks a bunch. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is this is really something, sir. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir. If they go again, big goofy ass march. Damn, I gotta find Ready 10 units. Like, what the hell, man? How long is it gonna take? It's probably more up here. Look at this guy. This guy looks like he just came out of a nightclub. In downtown Miami. Are they gonna be in the so Items, materia. See more up here. I don't think so. This, this area is restricted. If you want to see a movie about black soldier fought for the North in Civil War, check out Glory. I remember that's with Matthew Broderick. I remember that movie because it was one of those double VHS tapes, and we we had to watch it in school. I don't remember what grade it was, but I remember we 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 watched it in school as part of like you know learning about all that. Even Matthew Broderick, but the guy from Godzilla, 98. Took me an hour. They're scattered across a couple levels in several locations shot. Oh, well, we're not trying to spend an hour fighting, finding them. We'll find them. I was just giving me some indication on where they are, though, other than this, like, widespread bubble. Uh, here's more over here wasting time. So yeah. you can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet. Oh, captain! I, I did it! I'm sorry, sir! Break time's over. They Outside. think I'm the captain. I wonder where yeah. the real captain is. Yes, sir. There's gotta be someone in that role already that I that I uh, usurped. Matthew Broderick's Noticeable Rules, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, I love that movie. You know they're making a sequel to it about a. Uh, it's a, it's more of a spinoff. Taking place the same day from from two other characters in the movie. I've read the details though. Looking forward to a celebratory drink, sir. Can't wait, sir. Nope. 
Okay. I'll make sure to check outside. Yeah, then I know they're all inside. Damn, I have hiccups. One group is in a hidden bar that only allow all people in it. What? Well, how do you get in there? Claw's got a full head of like spiky hair. Man, I kind of. Now that you guys mentioned Ferris Bueller, I kind of want to watch it. Now. I have that movie. Oh, I saw a little blue diamond. Well, let me guess. You're here for the limited model, too? Check the helmet, you dipshit. Captain, please forgive me, sir. These dudes not see the helmet. Over. Outside. Now. Right away, sir. sir. <sighs> well, we're getting there. The parade's gonna be broadcast live. In, um, it helps that they're showing the little blue diamond. Captain, guys, quick! Attention! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone. Or I deal with rain and wind and snow. Yes, sir. Oh, then snow? I wouldn't know what snow's like when dealing with it. Oh, that's it? I thought I'd get more than that. <laughs> nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. And that your face. Some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the Mako soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. <sighs> Those children won't stop staring. This is what I was told you guys out earlier when I was a Broly yesterday walking around outside. Those kids surrounded him. It was just like that. I may be clad in fur, but surrounded and just tried to pet him. Foolishness. I get more soldiers from my unit. Is there a benefit though? Let's see if we see any more diamonds. Oh look. Draw me by. Captain! Sir, permission to ask a question. It's so tedious. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh, that depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out. Sir! Yes, yes sir! sir. You get all 10 units and certain units have bonuses when paired in the parade to help you get a higher score. I don't know if you care about that. They tell me my score's not good enough, I'll just kill everybody. It's always the answer, right? Have I been in here? Well, you know what? There was. Wait, so. Oh my god, look at all of them. I'd be getting nervous. I'd be like, oh, there's too many people and I'm faking this whole thing. It's like someone's gonna notice. How exci uh, excuse me, but we're in the middle of an interview. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good day, Captain. Good day, uh, oh, Captain. You're their captain. This is perfect. If you have a moment. I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, I don't time for sorry, this. But... How do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? If this is on TV, someone's definitely going to recognize Cloud. <sighs> right. I see what you mean, Captain. We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Wait, that's 7 out of 10, right? 
got five inches Friday night and early Saturday. That's what she said. That's it. I apologize. I was disgusted. But it was an irresistible comment to say. I saw another triangle down below. I think I. I Last time the president should. Not now, buddy. See, maybe I will get them all because I got eight out of ten already. Captain, I didn't realize. Sorry, sir. Practice is over. Time for the real deal. With me. <sighs> yes, yes, sir. Guys, hiccups are killing me. Get out of my way, jackass. See, vile sellers. I don't know what the hell that is. See, I saw another triangle down here to the right somewhere. I saw it. He's got to check it out. Where the hell did I see it? I, I see two more. Am I missing a hidden bar? They're up here. Hey, what do you think about this? Ah, oh, Captain, perfect timing. I'm picking out a present. See, I got one more group. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. RR's over, people. Seven, outside. Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, well, it says one more. I love how understood. I heard that the owner used to be. I assume it'd be the, that hidden bar or something. Welcome. Magnata girls. Did I go up there? It's hard to keep track of, like, where I've been and where I haven't been yet. Ready to move when you are, sir. Sir. Alone the Dark's a short game. The new Alone Dark Elite. Are you playing it? I don't think so. I know Rogue Dragon said he's been liking it. I feel like they didn't market that game. Like nobody's talking about it. It's a shame. That's been kind of a dormant series. We go. We got Andrew Tate over here. Oh, that's the bar. He's a ball guy. This is hilarious. Bald man's bar. Lone Dark should have been marketable since David Harbour's in it. Yeah. They probably we spent their whole budget on hiring him. And didn't have a marketing budget after that left. This is your first time. If you want to drink with us, Ooh. you're gonna have to lose the helmet. You're recognize him in a heartbeat. No scout, no service. <laughs> The stupidest thing I've ever seen. What are you waiting for? Unless. Are you three pop heads? Wait! He's our new captain. He didn't know. This is haired people discrimination. Sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Uh. R &R's over, people. Seven. Outside. Sir! Right away, sir. Well, we got 10 out of 10. Oh, shit. Well, good thing I did that. I got a trophy. Found out today there's a Chinese Will Smith zombie game. We were talking about that last stream. Yeah, uh, some, I think it was Kotaku or one of those sites did an article about how not even, uh, 
not even Will Smith could save the game, and it's like, whoa, nobody even knew about it, though. I'm just gonna leave all this as is. I don't know. Looking forward to a celebratory drink, sir. Can't wait, sir. Hop off. I have an army built. I'm gonna I'm gonna open a rebellion against Shinra openly. Or start a rebellion openly. Midgard, 7th Infantry. Reporting is ordered, ma'am. And on time. I feel like there's an actual bar like that somewhere. There's gotta be. The parade be. is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain. See, I usually shave my head, but I never do clean shaven. I've never done that. So I wouldn't be allowed in either. They said it has to be clean shaven. I should do that sometime. My wife would be so mad at me, though. She already doesn't like when I shave my head. If I did clean shavage, oh, man. I wouldn't hear the end of it. Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. It's an inspirational soldier speech. And we, We cannot, we will not, let our great city of Midgard down. Failure is not an option. <coughs> I like epic music. Ask, but we can do it <coughs> together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him. I guess your wife like long hair, man. Actually, she specifically victory. hates long hair. So long and then. They, they're, 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 Isn't that right? It's not one extreme or the other. You don't have to have like long flowing hair or be completely shaded. She has specifically told me she didn't like long hair. Man. My hair didn't grow like that either anyway. Naturally my hair curls. I can't grow long hair like that. Like flowing like Fabio hair. Who's going to show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. Don't want to be late, sir. Of course. <laughs> he got into it. He, he went too deep down the rabbit hole. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new Wutai. Era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Liu Kang's new era. To rouse the spirits, Mr. President, you're letting your position of power grow, indeed. Soon I'll lead this open clone rebellion. Oh, wait, this is not the bad batch. My hair's long, it'll stay long. Yeah, lead, do, do what you want. Your hair, man, it's your hair. You control its growth. <coughs> Let it grow proudly and beautifully. You ever heard of native shampoo? No. And here comes Midgar's mobile unit. Oh, oh this doofus. Long shot. Fake long shot. Ugh. Damn, look at that car, man. That is a nice car. Can you 
It's interesting, that giant cannon reminds me of uh, back in like World War II. I was watching a documentary, was it on Netflix? It's either on Netflix Ready or YouTube, fight, I don't sir. remember. I, I think it was a YouTube documentary. World Order. I was watching one about like Nazi, like Wonder Weapons, they called them. Like, they, like Nazis were trying to build like these, it's, it was about all these like super weapons that never actually got built or were built and were completely Ladies ineffective. Like, they were trying to build, like, a giant super cannon. And they wasted a ton of money and resources on it. And it, it was just not feasible, and it got abandoned. But it, it's, it looked like that. It was a giant, like, mega cannon. But it was just impractical for, like, war use and crazy expensive. It, it was really interesting, though. It shows, like, they were up to some crazy shit. And half of it was the stuff they couldn't even afford to do. There's one you guessed in Japan that offers discounts to people who are bald. Sounds like a good business plan. Plenty of bald people out there that'll like it. Oh crap. That caught me off guard. Their movements are so crisp and clean. I like had my controller like resting on my leg. I had to grab it real quick. You're watching history in the making, folks. See that little orb is kind of deceiving. You gotta go by the little diamond that's closing. Not the little yellow orb. See, I did it too quick. I messed up already. Damn it, I want a perfect score. Such excellent direction. Messed up. That concludes the first part yeah, of we'd the want to mess with the country with that super cannon. Yeah, but it was impractical because they couldn't really move the thing. Or we're taking a ton of resources to do it and fire it. It'd be completely ineffective. And then you just have to have a bombing run to destroy it. <laughs> so it, it might not be that big of a deal. The only question is how they're going to top this. Left. This is kind of cool, though. Formation I like these QT minigames. It's like, because back in the day, people would complain all the time when there were quick time events. Like, I've always liked quick time events. I, I think they're fun. One done properly. What? Them. No, I hit it. How did I miss two? That's a lie. That's Filthy, disgusting lie. They're not in step. I swear I did it. It's good, but they can surely do better. Maybe they're still warming up. What is happening? I'm hitting it. I've been bamboozled. Well, ironically, we only got to the moon because of those crazy scientists. Well, yeah, that one scientist that was building all the V rockets. But uh, it's funny because people didn't know that for the longest time. That was sealed information. Imagine if people had known that back in the day, though. People would be rioting if they knew that. It's that whole idea that, that human advance it does. It's one of those things where, like, war is a horrible thing, but we uh, learn from it in the most horrible ways. And it's like something good coming out of something horrible, you know? The 
This is looking promising. Formation change. Why am I doing so bad? I'm doing all the buttons right. My controller's lagging, that's it. Perfect. Huh? Perfect. For bad. That's a lie. That's a lie. And with that, we reached the end show. of the seventh infantry's performance. Oh. I'm sorry about that. For the final time, the judges are tallying the votes. They should have added the Bill Clinton rabbi kid in this. Like had a had a version of him here. Interrupt the newscast. But the question remains, will their efforts be enough to impress our new president? Let's wait and see. The moment of truth for our competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay tuned to find out. I spent an hour reloading my savior with a good unit placement so I perfected that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do all that. I commend the effort, though. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. I have more confidence in longer hair than short hair. Yeah, I do. It makes you confident, man. I trust you know the mission. So it's about. My friends, allow me to congratulate you on a stirring performance. You've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question, and I know our president can't wait to thank you all. This guy's very much like a Blackbeard kind of dude. Mm. Like looks and sounds like Blackbeard. Of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... <laughs> Lies. He's the voice of Bender? Why, who, Blackbeard? <laughs> we practiced. That is incredibly dangerous. It's almost like a Gaston figure from Beauty and the Beast, too. Just like this big oaf that thinks he's beautiful. Blackbeard here also did the voices of Scotsman. Oh, from Samurai Jack. I could hear that. The late president, my father single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company in the world. Epic speech. And transformed all of our lives with the miracle of Marco. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. F in the chat for a great man gone too soon. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young 
two inexperienced Tamidas. But to them, and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome. If we summon our courage, <laughs> Today we celebrate our Independence Day. I loved the Independence Day president speech. We must look instead to you know who else had an amazing speech? Um, say what you about the Halo series, but Captain Keys. In that one episode about the fall of Reach. He had an epic speech. But show those scaly bastards they fucked with the wrong planet. And then it was all over after the episode was over. I can barely hear him. The music is so loud. It overpowers him. Look, my relationship with Tifa has deepened. That's right. I'm on the right track. This whole part was actually kind of fun. Even though, like, story-wise, it's very much filler. Well, yeah, it's actually fun, like, getting it all together. To accept this award on behalf of the team, three of the best will now join me. Come on up. Al Pacino on any given Sunday is pretty good too. Movies mad, but that speech is great. Oh yeah, there's a lot of YouTube channels that like use that clip. Like all those like motivational channels, a lot of them use the clips from that. Your performance today was nothing. I've seen it all over the place. Incredible. Midgar's seventh infantry is without a doubt the pride. Did you get a test run for Wednesday? Yeah, I mean I got the new dog, so everything's working fine. I just hope I don't start streaming Wednesday and then something it goes wrong again. But so far, everything's working perfectly on the dock. I think it was the old dock. We'll know for sure on Wednesday, but I have not been able to recreate problems. To say to these troopers, cut the feed. Sir, you, you're on crowd control. That ain't right. <laughs> Look at her, that outfit. Looks ridiculous. It looks way too small on him. Of all the times. I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. Plot twist. They that knew was all a along. first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! Optimus Prime is the best speech at the end of every Michael Bay Transformers movie, yeah. My name is Optimus Prime, and I send this message to any surviving Autobots. You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why... I have Zelda! Link! Oh boy, smooching time! Presence, ah! Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. Yotaku flexing 54 months. The city is Best part of this is if you win the card tournament in the city, your last opponent is incredible. And the yeah, I haven't been doing the cards at all. To that end, Not in this stream, at least. I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. I was barely squeezed by those card games in the last year. Mountain of unfinished tasks, 
like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent, the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. It's actually kind of a benefit. You keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get... Sephiroth, dead. He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. Stall but order. In our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. <clears throat> the guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the man, I believe he calls Shadows, them. just kind of follow him around. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. I think it's interesting though how he's just like, like a good way he should be like your main enemy, the president of the company. He's like, I don't give a shit about you. He's like, just do this. Go. Ninja Ops. Anyone anyone that's played this, do you, you know when I can like kind of free roam? Is that coming up soon? Because I want to go back to the grasslands and side quest off stream. That's what I'm trying to get to at least tonight. Just to where I can just go anywhere because right now I'm stuck here in this area oh and she's on that assassination mission that's right she's got to chill the hell out Finish the whole card quest line today. It gets insane. Yeah, I'll revisit that sometime. Look, up there. Oh no. Don't do it now. See, even if she killed him, like they would just replace him with someone else. I felt so bad for that guy in the intergrade. Time to pay. She had a good little backstory in that. Your target is considerable distance away. Shit. Focus. So, we have ourselves a deal then. Only if you can honor it. No one comes for us. Not Hojo, not the Turks. Take your no time. One. You know you, you can do this. <laughs> What? I don't understand what they want me to do. Oh, I had to wait for the circle to close. Here goes. Gotcha. I got cut. Uh, so that's your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You've had your chance. Damn, man. She <laughs> fucked everything up. Sweep the rooftops now. Don't let them get away. This goes crazy, I know, right? You tell her, like, calm the hell down. Wait. You like, wait a deal. Get 
She's ready to decapitate that man. Good boy. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the seventh infantry. Throw them off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. God, uh, when do I get the high wind? I thought I got the high wind here. I want to fly my shit. To convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. Yeah, well, it's probably the guy you've never seen before. Allow us to accompany you. Midgar's seventh infantry never leaves a man behind. So I just co-opted that whole infantry unit. How nefarious. Other units are a potential threat. High wind was late, no G if it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. See, I don't remember I remember it being pretty early on. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. I probably you know what it is, I probably spent a ton of time back in the day grinding out uh the game just flying around different locations. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest of our more Juno. Got it? Yes, sir. yes, sir! Five members of the infantry will join you. That's cool. They're my troops now. Ooh, look at that. Wait, I got a new sword. It said I got a rune blade. Let's see what that looks like. Damage too low. Let's roll out. I've caused a little mini uh, civil war now. Apparently. I gotta protect my troops. Assholes. Hope after this I go back to the grasslands. Anyone know if I can go back to the grasslands after this section? Or how far I am away from being able to go back to the grasslands? I left a lot of unfinished shit over there. Is it true someone tried to kill the president? That's correct. The latest report is that the assailant fled to Larvor Juno. Shit. Well, here. Did you run into that bastard? Thank you for that. I don't see how little Miss Potion is gonna help. Give me the golden gun. Think you can stop me with the assassin? <laughs> Guys have no chance. Never in doubt. What are they shooting at? You don't think the enemy has infiltrated the center, do you? Never doubt. I want to kill Roche. Yes, sir. Very badly. Revival earrings. Suspect 
Oh, no, shield enemies. Come on, you know how I feel about that. Shields are unacceptable. They're not allowed in my book. They're horrible things. Fuck out of here with those shields. Can't stand that. Come on. There we go. Did he heal me? Damn, I got the limit break. It's not worth it. Here, I'll do it on this guy. Overkill. Yeah, it's badass. I wonder how these troops are going to feel when they realize they're shooting their own dudes. Stupidly. You hear anything more about the assassin? Only that they've been spotted in the area of Barbor Juno. For Vice City Stories, will we get another AI president? Read Super Chat. I, we could. I could have the pirate or... I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys say? I could have Biden or I could have Trump. We did Obama today. <laughs> You know what? Maybe we'll do the Orange Man, because that's very Vice City. Because he was like a big mogul in the 80s, right? There you go. We'll do the Orange Man on uh, on, on Wednesday. That'll be funny. Saw someone the other day call him Mango Mussolini, and I thought this shit was hilarious. I hate this thing. I don't like these. Thundera! Isn't that a Thundercast thing? Thundera? Or did I make that up? Yeah, AI Presidents is one of the greatest creations of the internet in human history. I'm very thankful for them. Ooh, that guy got shocked. How you like that? Oh, fuck, another one of these. I'm gonna mess you up, man. Don't make me do it. Shit. Why the hell did I go all the way up there? I need more magic. Thank you, soldier. Ah! There we go, staggered at one. Like, you just saw me destroy all these robots. You need to stop fighting. You're gonna die. That it? Onwards! Come on, ass clowns. Death wheel. You know what that looks like? That death wheel. It looks like um, 
it looks like a random character design for one of the background characters in like one of the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Like one of the not popular characters. It might even be made up for the movie. That's what it looks like. Stop running, man! Oh, I hate these. Oh my god. Whoop my ass. Fucking A. Look at it go! Won't stop. Oh my lord. I'd say it looks more like the wheel from Kirby. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I feel like that took way longer to kill than it should have. Does that go sit down on a bench over here, I think? No bench. Oh, yeah, there is. At least we got all our magic back. Damn, it's almost 12 30 already. This thing's flying, flown by. Okay, Roach, here we go. Oh, he's gonna be a bitch. You really ought to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> I wonder if these troops are gonna fight with me now. Oh dear. My quarry has cast you aside. How tragic. Dynamo has returned. These other troops have no idea what the hell's going on. Fans of Elks. Didn't you know? You and I are living legends. I got this. Sir. Got to see you later, game moral. Yeah, Wednesday, uh, as a reminder for anyone, um, yeah, it's used to the Friday schedule. This Friday, I'm not streaming. We'll be doing Vice City Stories Wednesday. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna top it off. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music. <laughs> what is this? like a fancy death battle. We just have a dance off. Quick time event dance off. This guy's insane, man. I don't think I ever equipped the cure material for uh wow. I have prey. I hate you, Roach. I hate you. I hated this guy since the last game.
You know what this music sounds like? Tell me this doesn't sound like those late night shows like Jimmy Fallon or something, like when they're coming on stage and everyone's cheering. <laughs> That's a hundred percent what this is. It's a late night show. It's Saturday night, late night show. Staggered almost, almost, almost. There we go. I'm gonna heal with prey and then I'm gonna get my summon up here. The gas is kicked. Don't tell me he's gonna change tactics. Now he's gonna start some BS. We have a reputation to live up to. Let's give the people a proper spectacle. Hope his bike explodes. Fuck, wait. Ah! I need my summon. I guess survive till my summon. Oh no. I can't use items right now. Oh damn it. I played this wrong. Ooh! Oh my god, hold on. That saved my ass. That mega potion. All right, now I'm good. Oh, now I don't have a mega potion. I have to get another one. Wait, why can't I use my summon? You're not gonna let me use my summon here? Oh, it wasn't ready yet. Got him! He's not gonna survive this. Not my Leviathan. That out. I need a second gauge. That's such a dick. I really hope I don't have to fight him again after this. Like, I want him to be dead. There we go. Now that he's staggered, I might as well heal. <laughs> Boom! Defeated.
Thank you for another Saturday night! Yeah! Finally I ruined this bike. Probably just gonna get another one. Loser. Stab him. Hours alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your champion. That's right, show respect. Bow down. I must say, you have proven yourself as a capable leader of men. Then again, I expect he really is like Dynamo this. from Mega Man X5, like looks and personality wise. As a leader of my own band of brothers, I hold you in the highest respect. And so for you, our fearless captain. He's not mad about the bike? I insist. Speed demon keychain. <laughs> and a stuffed stamp. That's your cue to exit. Yonder elevator will take you down. And do you sure? You sure? I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Suit yourself. Boy, friends now. Cloud has proven himself in the fires of combat. In a little Thunderdome of our own. I have so much stuff. I have to like check my materia, check my skill points, check everything. Look at all these rewards. And what are these uh, manifestation of planet's favor? What, do, what do anyone know what those do? I keep getting those. I don't know what they're for. You guys had Lardboard without me. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? <laughs> He's... a jackass. That we know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Man, I want these guys with me for the rest of the game now. They're loyal. Or, are you the assassin everyone's looking for? That's correct. For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman, just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. These guys are dumbasses, too. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir. It's okay. At ease. Where's Legoland? Is, it's in Florida, in Orlando. We would have never won that Orlando area. If you hadn't brought us just like together. Disney and all the other parks. I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met. It's a little further out, though. The seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way. Man, this part's actually awesome with these random ass troops. Maybe we'll face each other again in the future, and then I could destroy them in combat. Will we see each other again, sir? <laughs> Count on it. 
the Shinra soldiers are now the best. Yeah, I know, right? They're like nobodies, but they're awesome. At least my little group. Get out of here. Hopefully, I go back to the grasslands. Then we'll save there before I side quest. If I can, I don't know. I don't know where this is going to take me now. But the journey is not over, it is only beginning. Am I still on chapter four? I am, right? Chapter four is long as shit. You think things are safe? I'm just relieved. Can we please just trust in shit? Yeah, it's a pretty long chapter. This is the end of the chapter, man. It, you okay? I mean, I to be fair, I did do the yeah. side quest at the beginning, but still. We flow always Let's get the good stuff. Oh yeah, we got. That's why I never move out of Florida. We got we got too much cool stuff, man. And we're like arcade central. Right, next. They're screening passengers. What now? We try the back door. Just trust in Shinra and things will be good. Can I help you? Why does that guy look yeah. fuzzy yeah. looking? We are the winners Beard is of weird. the president's commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The commander in chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the president's a busy man. Those guys with you too? <laughs> Where'd they come from? Captain, sorry, but you're needed on deck. The fight's broken out. <sighs> Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of big wigs on board. As for you, back to work. Hi, sir. In the extra small outfit. Oh, and your dog stays in the hole. Stop calling him a dog. He's a tiger man. He's a tiger thing. Play along. Tiger lion. Damn it, they keep calling him a dog. I guess your governor DeSantis won't become president. He's not running for president anymore. Thank God. Honestly, out of all the choices we have, that would have been um, that would have been worst case scenario. I promise you, that would have been worst case scenario. Finally. Blood in the water. Yeah, we got a nice little cruise ship. Having a good time over here. Having a couple of margaritas. Sunbathing. Enjoying the comedy club and festivities. G random generic old couple. Oh, I remember this dude. The one that made me all beautiful. Luxury hand massage! Luxury hand massage! I'ma get it. I'm gonna get it. Well that was hard. Madam M, she's back. Oh, a luxury hand massage. Maybe I get one on the ship. I like how his gun arm is like, he's got like a hook taped to it.
<laughs> he was just like, God damn. <laughs> Talk about boys. So boring. It's me. <sighs> Meeting adjourned for now. Hmm? <laughs> so, how's it looking up top? All the robes are in second class. I haven't seen any sign of shimmer, though. We can ditch the uniform. I like how the robes are here, like enjoying the cruise. Aww. They're like sunbathing too. Well, it's been an honor, Captain. Captain. Hey, about this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I Sailor Beard about to become the next Sailor Scout. It'd be funny if you'd wear that for the rest of the game. I think she did us a favor. Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted, no matter who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing smoothly towards... Fun Coast in the sun, Coast. summertime. ...to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood Tournament in the lab. Uh, of course, it's Queen's Blood Any Tournament. Any interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. I hope they don't force me to do that. I don't want to play Queen's Blood. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on. So, like, there's a couple carnival crews I've been on. They always have, like, one of my favorite activities they do is, like, trivia. They always have some really good trivia topics. I won Star Wars trivia once. Some Harry Potter nerds were trying to take me down. Because they, they had won Harry Potter trivia. And they stayed for the Star Wars, and I was like, you'd sent her a whole new world. You're in my realm now, bitches. <laughs> I've won a little, a little plastic uh, ship. All right, yeah, we'll save here. We wherever I can. To make sure I Actually, I just do a manual save here. <clears throat> yeah, we'll save there. I was hoping I could go back to the grasslands and shit, but I guess that'll have to wait. I'm stuck on the boat in the water for now. Oh, man, that was a fun stream, though. We made a good amount of progress. We went all the way through Chapter 8, or Chapter 4. We still got a long-ass way to go. But, again, no rush. The game will be beaten when it is beaten. Target, thank you for the five. Ooh, I changed it to... Hold on, did I change the voice? I think I did. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh, I still have the pirate. But yeah, thanks for the five. Hey, you absolutely do want to play Queen's Blade? Queen's... Oh, the, the, the card game. It leads to the best scene in this game. But do I have to do, like, all of them? Or are you just talking about the boat tournament? Because I'll do the boat tournament. I mean, I, I, I guess I have to. I don't know. Um, I guess I have to do it. But yeah, we will... Uh, as a reminder again, Friday, no stream. We are going to stream on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll do the boat tournament next time. Uh, but yeah, we'll um, we'll we'll do Wednesday. We'll do Grand Theft Auto Vice City stories. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna finish my Dick Tracy review and try to get that up, and then the next day I'll catch up on the Vice City missions. And then by the time we stream, we'll be we'll be back to the last couple missions and we'll finish the game. It's been too long through the technical issues, and then from there we'll swap off to Hunter uh, with that after that game. But yeah, we'll cut it there. I will see you guys Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Same as always. I will see you then. <laughs>